Am I live? Am I live? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to check it out. I'm asking my buddy, Roger. Oh, Roger. He's in there, yeah. Oh, boy. Better uh, do some boat control here. Yeah. Big yeah, time. I was say. <laughs> We're doing everything else except for that. Don't fly. Bill Hopper. We just caught a few. We just got into three. Um, hey, hey, Roger. We just got into three of them. Got, a, got me a new PB on Hoover. My biggest uh, blue was... 17 pounds i got me a 21 21 and a half something like that i got him right here on the floor uh share me out if you could uh roger dreams what's up okay those two you gonna get me a picture yeah yeah <laughs> Look at there, fellas. 21 and a half pounds. New PB. Hoover Eclipse. <laughs> we did. Hold him up like that. Yeah. Huh? Hold him there. There you go. There we go. Get his belly in there. Yeah. Right there. All right. We'll let him go. Let yeah, him, we're not going to flight him. Let him go and let him grow. Mm -hmm. You know, we hit him on the swing. We actually swing him. Yeah, he's mad. Yeah, he is. He's mad. Here That's we go. Okay. He's glad now. Now, Floyd, he's got two of them. boat's going crazy. I'm having a heck of a time with boat control here. So I'm going with the wind. I'm not used to that. I'm used to going against the wind. And uh, I'll tell you what happened. We started out in about 15, 16 foot of water back there. We marked a bunch of stuff. Had uh, one big hit. And then, uh, you getting hit there? No. No. And then, uh, then Floyd got one. I had a hit and he, he got one and we went about 17 more minutes and I got that bigger one or no, then you got another one. Yeah, now I got another one. And then that big one hit right after that. So, hey, bug man, share me out guys if you can. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm trying to get my boat control under, yeah. under control. Under so, and get some baits back out in the water. Yeah. Let's get that picture of yours. Okay. You want to get that on? Yeah. Hold both up? Yeah. Right. Floyd, Floyd's keeping him a uh, couple of these smaller ones for some flays. He's wanting to flay some of them up and see what they taste like. Well, actually, he knows what they taste like. He's a big fish eater. You got a uh, stripper right here. Yeah. And yeah, this one's still. Hang on. I can't figure out why I can't keep this thing straight. Yeah. We'll figure out. We're doing stuff right now. You know, well, maybe we need to put that drift on the mat somewhere. Oh, really? Well, we can do that. I'm sure we can get this done. No big ones. But, hey. They're, they're eaters. Yep. Big old head on that one, yeah. 
We getting the full dark thing? I think so. I got the glasses. What's going on here? That fish? Fish or hang? Hang. Hung? Huh? Hang. Turn it in a fish? Oh, the line's yeah. slipping in. I'll just let it back down. Here you go. All right, guys. Uncle Don R. Got four watching. I didn't schedule this until uh, 10 o'clock, but we uh, decided to come in early since we caught those fish. Yeah, I got to get some paints in the water. Yeah. Well, I got one ready to go in, but I got to get this one out there. I can kind of mess it up. Yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead. So I kind of messed it up. So we're going to bring it on in. Need to save my clips. Trying to make a video also. Getting the full clips. Dragon boards. Yeah, we had a heck of a mess. <clears throat> that, uh, Um, this causes some between the good. fish and the wind. Yeah. And my yeah. boat control. No problems. I've had, you know, bow movements. Had a good one this morning. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so. I just had Colin lost me Friday. <laughs> yeah, you're live. <laughs> yes, I do. Hey, it's life, right? <laughs> it's life. Okay. No. Okay, we're on the Hooper Reservoir station. Yeah, yeah, we just caught, we just put three in the boat. 120, 0.110. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. We will. No, you're fine. I'm by it. <laughs> hey, What's get that? it all. <laughs> yeah, you get it all. Get oh, it all here on Clearview. What, what do you call that? Good to bad. Good log. Okay. Well, I'll get it. That log, I wonder if I could stay back in the Aha. log. See that, guys? Right when I was getting ready to cast, I think. Flipped up there and got a hold of my line. Oh, yeah. I don't know how far it is back. I forgot to reset the line because I haven't messed up. It's all right. You getting any more? Oh man, we lost a person. <laughs> we only got three. Yeah, hopefully some more kick in whenever it's the schedule pops up. Now we're only in about five foot of water. And I'll be honest, I'm not marking as much in the shallow. Wondering if we shouldn't cut across that way. Yeah. What's that? Cut across out from the sun? Yeah. Go ahead. Make sure there's a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and let this line go out. But then again, I don't know. The shallow's been. The shallow's been, been working. Let's, let's stick with it. Yeah. We're good. It's been a while. Hey. We hit three cameras. Because we got all the shallow water up there we need. Yeah. 
that was my theory today was that hopefully the uh can you send them pictures to me too just the fish and fetties howdy Definitely gonna have to turn a little bit here. That wind's so unpredictable, it's like it'll. Oh, wow. We're... I'm working stuff next to the bottom down here. Um, my speed's kind of been. See there? Yeah. It's been all over the place. My speed and my direction. Well, at least we got these ones that's on bottom out farther than the other. Yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. I'm so jealous I want to fish Hoover. <laughs> uh -huh. Justin oh. says he's so, <laughs> so jealous. Justin, anytime, man, anytime. You get a hold of me, bud. If I'm available, I will gladly take you out on the Beulah Bug. Send me those pigs. But the wind just about pushing us. Uh, yeah. Anywhere from three to five. Point point three to point five, which was perfect. I'm just trying to use the motor to keep us in a straight line. <laughs> it ain't working out. Because the wind's kind of coming. It's coming out of the southwest so it's kind of pushing us toward the bank also so yeah. you got to try to keep out from the bank but we're working on it okay we got six people now all right thank you i really need view time i'm hurting for view time It's still, it's still five minutes till when I posted this thing. I was going to go 9.30, but I didn't feel like we was quite ready because we just got set up. And what do you know? <laughs> Three fish on in a matter of like 20 minutes. Yeah. Bobcat, what do you say, Bob? Wish I was down there bumping with you. Yeah, I do have a sack out, but I think I got it on the wrong side. I need to switch that. Thank you, Bob. We were just saying something about that. Not, not yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let, let it drip down. It's like I, I set my uh, navigation button and it just keeps working its way over to the right, it seems like. Yeah. I got to wait till it gets out. Yeah, let me get going here a little bit. Hope you get to uh, Justin. Yes, it is, Bob. And dragging with the wind is hard. I'm used to dragging into the wind. I'm not used to dragging with the wind, but uh, I listen to a lot of these tournament guys and they're always talking, they go with the wind. So I thought I'd give it a try. Sure enough, right off the bat, we hook into three fish. Yeah. Wait till this but one. we did mark those fish and bait. We're, we're only in like five foot of water now. Yeah. We probably need to get out a little bit. There's got to be a shell. I don't know. Look at that. Look at that mark right there. Oh, yeah. Well, well I mean, hey, they may be a. Yeah, let's just be, give it. You know, we just got into this. Thing. Yeah. yeah. And our baits really ain't even this. Yeah. They're not that deep yet. They're 100 feet behind the boat. So. Yeah. I'm getting ready to pass them out of the way now. 
because I wanted this one to get over a little bit. I knew the river was going to be totally blowed out, so. So that's why we. Fifteen. Fifteen foot is where he's marking most. I know there's some guys. Uh, there's another boat out here, and that's probably what they're in. I'm sure that's on. Get it on over the, the, over the yeah, the corner of the boat there. I got you. There. Yeah. It's actually not even uh, tight yet that much. You know what I mean? Hello to everyone in here. Yeah, we got 11 now. Thank you. You never send those pictures yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I keep telling you, send me a picture. Okay. I got to send them to, to the wife, to my buddy, uh, buddies, Roger, Zach. We always, we always, we always share our pictures. There's all four of them. Four? We only got three. Yeah, but I took three. Oh, of okay. <laughs> three of me. That one's worthy. What? Well, I tell you what, I'm getting his board right in that. I don't know if you guys can see it in the frame yet, but there's a lot of little undergrowth stuff here. I hope I don't get any hung. I'm trying to get it out away from a little. Uh, Shad was Shad was really scattered. I know uh, Roger told me that it was plentiful, but man, we had a we spent yeah, I really we only spent about an hour I guess getting getting the shad. It was just like a couple here, a couple there, and then every now and then we'd get a good good net full. We got some. I'm getting close some good ones, ones and then other side. Real close. Yeah, I know. All your time to play close. I'm a working on it. I mean, I don't care if I hit a sixty pounder there. <laughs> Pomeroy was starting to flood. Yeah, yeah, Matt's in here, Stonefly. He he sent me some pictures of uh, of Pomeroy. Man, it was it was getting way up there. I think it's on the drop now. Rolling, rolling. It's gonna be a big old flathead laying right up next to that brush, right? Yep. <laughs> it's always good to do wishful thinking, right? Yeah. You'll have that. He's got one line out long line about what was it 200 yeah yeah it's 200 now. okay it's uh, scheduled now so hey Bob if you could share me out too uh, I can take all the shares out I can, I can get Trying to get that watch time built up. It's tough. It's tough when nobody watches your channel. <laughs> but it looks like those guys turn around. I tell you what, if they if they end up coming up and dragging back through that same area, 
we may go deep. Hey, what, hey? Yeah. Legs they yeah. yeah, I've fished here quite a bit. I just had a theory about the, uh, well, actually, I, I came to a seminar up here at Hoover, and there was a guy that did big cats. And, uh, spoke very highly of shallow water for big cats. He does very well in the tournament series around here. What about about point four four nine to five one? I'm either hung up or shot. theory was that the sun, you know, warming up today, it's going to warm up this water. But you know what? We aren't marking the bait like we were. No. Okay, you guys are convincing me. Maybe I need to go deeper. Water temp is 52. Actually, it was 51 point something when we started. And it is already up to look at that. That's a big fish right there. Yeah. And we he just went under the boat. Um and it's fifty two point one and six now. But we have gotten shot. Did that help the noise any? Much better. Thank you. Three nights. What just beeped? What just beeped? Something beeped. Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Something beeped, but I don't know what it was. Might have been my shallow water thing. I sped up a little bit too. Oh, okay. The well, thing is, you guys ain't going to have as good a view, I don't think. But we'll be able to show you the fish if we catch any. Look at it. Thank you. Look. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. I thought there was a tournament. It was weekend much better okay Everything good now? I think so see is that maybe pulling through the I think it's pulling through the clip you think I need because it'll be pulled all the way up to the clip if you don't watch it. If it's hung, it might be like the little... Interesting. 
It was my fish finder that beat. Skip, I want to see you a link. The Division of Wildlife wants to get input on wildlife activity during. Oh, okay. Your information could be useful. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. Any secret to this? No. Uh -huh. No. What is it? It's up to the thing now. Oh, is it? We're just ruining it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's just, you're going to yeah. be fighting the board. That's, yeah. Well, I'm trying to keep down my own. I wish I came in at this a little different. Uh, the guy with me is my cousin, uh, Floyd Deddy. He's got a, uh, if you go to his chat or his uh, Facebook page, Floyd Deddy, right? Floyd Deddy? Uh, Rolling Creek Production. Rolling Creek Production. He does a lot of deer hunting, Ernie. You'd probably like, you'd probably like a, a deer hunting and turkey hunting. You'd probably like what he's got on there. I got a lot of my granddaughters on there too. Got a lot of his granddaughters on there. Have you ever heard of the Daddy Sisters? That's his uh, granddaughters. Okay, we're going a little fast. And he's a little new to the dragon, but he's picking it up pretty good. Yep, you have? Okay, Ernie. Yeah, those guys look like they're going right back to where they started from. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see them? Yeah. I bet they're going to turn around and drag right back to where they went so that yeah. they, probably, they probably are on something. Either that or they're heading up there in the shadow, shallows <laughs> like I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we're not marking the bait like we were. No. Definitely not Floyd the trucker. No, I don't know who Floyd the trucker is. <laughs> well, we're already back into eight foot. So let's see what happens when we get out here. See if we start picking up bait and marking the fish again. C and D, brother. Got 13 people. I tell you, there is active fish everywhere. I think there's a lot of crappie moving. Probably a saw guy. You know, up higher in the water column. Um, of course, there's bait everywhere. Try putting that drift sock in the middle and see if that helps. Let me try and you think these two poles will get tangled up? Like, no, I can't do that. Okay. You just have to watch it. Some crappy sandwiches. Okay. Now we are going. See, this one probably needs to get this one out. It will. Just, just yeah. give it a minute. We just now got turned. See, yeah. we, now we're facing. Now we're facing yeah. the wind. 
We're headed to deeper water. No, because I threw this one out there and then filtered on. If I need to get that one in this side, you said clicking bailing, maybe it'll pull it over. You know what I mean? Because that one's underneath that. This orange one is underneath that other one. So I got to get it over there past that one before I can get it on that. No, huh? No, it's good. Because this one here is coming from over there. We're good right now. Okay. I'm telling you. <laughs> now that's some crappie sandwiches. Yep. Back down. I've been thinking about trying to do some crappie fishing myself. Yeah, those guys are going. Now see, those guys are going clear up into the shallow stuff like I was wanting to do. Yeah. But we still got time. I was. Oh, yeah. I was thinking around noon, you know, when it gets up closer to that 70 degrees today, I think yeah. it's going to be a good time. That kind of tells me that their drag might not have produced a lot. Maybe that's what we should have done was uh, just reeled in and went back and Went back through there again, you know, maybe out a little bit. Have. We caught the bigger one yeah. on, the, on the deeper side. Yeah. Okay, now we're starting Mark Bait and stuff again, so that's good. We're, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're going into the wind now. We're going about point three. Got the motor on about three. I'm trying to get that away from me. It's starting to come away from it, and I'll let it back. As soon as I get past it, I'll just let the rest of it back. I gotta get me a little something to eat. There we go. Now we're cooking. I got it past it now. So yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yeah, that's not good. question what is for lunch uh just some just some lunch meat hey he was gonna bring what was he gonna bring was gonna cook it turkey burgers oh yeah he had turkey burgers wild turkey wild burgers. turkey burgers and uh we decided he already he already had some lunch meat so we just decided to get that or bring that cheap and easy okay we're starting to mark some stuff now oh uh, yep how deep are we? We're uh, nine seven, okay. nine point seven. So you back know, there's a scent feet. you might want to stay in. But look, they are. They're setting up. They're going to drag out. Yeah. They're going to drag back into the wind too. Yeah. So maybe end of the wind is better today. Going a little faster than I like to be. Well, our bait sounds bomb and smooth and good. Hey, I don't think a little bit more speed ain't going to hurt me. Yep, we're starting to pick up some bait back in the water column. Looking better. Yeah. Brandon's going to be on 
CC. Man. We need some action to happen. We're losing. Yeah. We're losing people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're down to eight. Sure. They probably don't want to watch me eat. <laughs> You're making them hungry. Tell you what, we could actually drift back over that way. Yeah. And then and go right back through where yeah. we uh yeah. where we picked those up. Just barely turn it, a little bit at a time and keep everything straight back. Because that was what we was in was about 16, 15 feet. Yeah, when we picked those up. Right. Actually, it was when we was going into shallower water. So it, I would say it was in between 12 and 10. Yeah. We're in 10 now, and it's climbing. So we might just run this a little bit and see what happens. Yeah. So I'm marking fish. You know what? This uh, motor is dragging up. It's blocking my uh, side view. Oh, okay. Blocking the side view on that yeah. side. It wasn't much, just a little. Yeah. It's like I'm marking more stuff on the right side over here, though. Over here? Yeah. I'm just going to start gradually turning it that way. Well, that helps, dude. I love it. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. That's good news then. Thank you. Uh huh. Had colonoscopy me Friday. They removed the polyp, which that's the only thing that he said he found. And I just got news that it wasn't one to be worried about. So I ain't got to do it another 10 years, not five. <laughs> I guess that's just the waves. I thought I was getting them. <clears throat> I thought I was starting to get a tug there. <clears throat> I feel one coming on, Skip. What? Fish. Oh. No, not a. <laughs> there we go. That's probably a, a school of shad right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What about point four now? I can't seem to get it, uh, keep it steady at point three. And uh, if I go up like a half notch, then I go, you know, I'm up past point five. So I'm just going to go with the point four five, point four three. I might be in line I said oh okay you're talking to uh, uh, three nights says lucky I'm on on the three-year plan he has to go every three years oh yeah yeah it, this month that was my second one so hey I'm 61 now what is it I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I can highlight people's uh, yeah thing, and it'll pop it up down here. Oh, okay. But this is my second one, so I'm 61, out 71. I just want to make it there to have another one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>
Man, I thought that. That looks like a fish right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right there. And there's one too on the bottom. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. That's what we want to see. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Skip, you got one. Got one. Got one down. Got one down. Let me. No, got one on. You're on your back. You might have it, but I didn't know. How's it feel? It's not big. It's a fish. <laughs> a fish. It don't feel too big. I think it's a small one. Well, you're not fighting. See, every time you break out the food, then you get a bite. It always happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's just a little guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, we'll take him. We'll take him. Yep. Yeah. Hey. About the same size as that first one, ain't he? Yep. He's got mud, on, mud on him. Put the mud on him. Mud all over. Yeah. Come here, guy. You're not in the water anymore. No. Got him in the bottom, bottom yeah. of the lip. There he is. Says hi. <laughs> one, that one no, give me another one, Skip. Huh? For some reason, I must move. Let me go back. Hang on. I know I got stuff in my teeth. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Got it? Yep, got it. Yeah, don't even, just don't even with the shower. Okay. I told him it don't matter. As long as he's in water, throw him over there if you put him in there. Um, they'll keep you yeah, they'll do it, man. Oh, that would probably yeah. be a good match for you there, would it? Oh yeah. Yeah, we we'll keep nice. The Floyd's keeping a couple of those smaller ones. He's one that <clears throat> this guy, I'm telling you, man, he he goes over there to the Pink Creek Spillway and just tears the fish up. Channels, shovel, shovel, and I did hit that one blue 40, 47 inches long. That's a good blue for uh Pay Creek Spillway, Roger. Did you hear that? Hey, Zach, what's up? It's free piercing and portraits day. That's right, we're doing it. Still going 4.3. That was a good sign. We picked up a fish. We started marking bait again. We're getting a little deeper. I think I'm just going to follow this out, man. If, yeah. if worse comes to worse, you know, we may swing, we'll go up, we'll swing, just, yeah, swing right back yeah. through that where we caught them yeah. nicer ones. Oh, yeah. here comes some good structure right there. Yeah. Hopefully we don't get hung on Oh, yeah. <laughs> That, yeah, that's the next thing. Oh, or turn that off. Better say this one. I bet this wind noise on this one's bad. Let's see, I got a way I can remedy that one. Yeah. You can actually turn the... Thanks, Bill. I thought I missed... That's a crazy pick. What's the crazy pick? I didn't see it. <laughs> Oh, got one? No, no. I'm going to get you another bait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my bait back in the water. What's yeah. the matter, me? What's wrong with you? Just a, uh, uh, man, I've had that spook there for a long time. I can't even remember what they're called. Um, what do you want? Barrel swivel. One, Skip. Wait. What do you want? I uh, see. On that one, yeah, I had this. Right That's here? I had, yeah. Well, you got that now. <laughs> right there's uh, some of the shad that we we got. 
that about that size and up. We got some. We got a couple in there. It's a pretty nice size. Do I hit something or something hit at it? A middle plate. I've just been wishful thinking too. That's on. That's a, that's the first one. That's the first one we caught on the ones without the planer board. Yep, that's the first one uh, yeah. caught without a planer board. Yeah, that was a uh, long line, which I only had it. I think I only had it about 125 out. It was about 225 this time. <laughs> oh, new comment. I'm missing comments. I know you guys probably can't see much because I get keep you out of the wind. I don't know what else to do. I could get you in the frame better. Is that your side? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Can't really see any of the boards or anything, but yeah. Then you can't see me. Oh, oh. One. It's probably a big piece of structure we want to work. <laughs> it probably was. We'll, we'll let it go. It wasn't a piece. But I mean, I thought I felt seeing it go like that. Hmm. We're staying in that about that ten and a half foot. Yeah. Still going about point four. Yeah, that's about good. One, well, you said about point three, but that's. I brought my poles with me. If work gets too bad today, you will see me flagging you down from the shore. All right. Hey, I got plenty of poles, Roger. You know, what I, mean? I brung some extras. Um, I brung uh, different actions. I was going to let. Uh, Floyd get a little taste of different some different actions if if we got around to it yeah <laughs> but there's plenty uh, way more than what we needed yeah we did actually bring a couple little crappie uh, rigs we thought if uh, we wasn't having no luck with the catfish we might try a little crappie and we caught several in the cast net Not really keepers, but uh, which we would have kept. Them. There may be one small one or two in there. I don't know. I mean, we was just mainly after the shad. See, I'm working more on that on my side. side. Yeah. But, you know, my bait should be going right over. Yeah. I mean, I'm marking them out. Well, about the time 30, bait... 40 feet. By the time my bait should have went over that one, that you, the fish that you've seen. I've got my far board about 75 feet over. We're holding pretty good at that point four. Just yeah. from like point three eight to point four two, about point four. I don't know why, but when I try to go to the point three, it's just like the wind's too much for it, and it throws us all off. Yeah. It might have been what was happening over there, too. You know what I mean? They look like they're anchored skip. No, nah, they're dragging. Oh, are they dragging? Okay. They're just, just, I'm not watching. They're behind them. us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got you. They're probably going about the same speed. Yeah. Yeah, it was another real nice uh, deep V boat up here, Roger. Uh, I didn't get a good look, you know, like close at them. 
to see if I knew who they were, but they were up here. We got here right at the crack. I mean, it was still a little dark. <clears throat> they already had their bait and they started motoring out as soon as they seen us. Yeah. I think they want to make sure they got to their spot before we did. Hey, Dale. Dale. Hey, Slip. What's up, old buddy? I did not lay a track down, Roger. Um, we came up on the on that shore side, and uh, I tell you, my kicker motor really disappointed. And you know, I listen to those guys tell me to go up and pitch, and I am I lost RPMs. You know, I was having trouble getting to the RPMs I needed to get to to begin with. So evidently, I should have went down and pitch because. I went up three pitches, and I before I was getting like forty six thousand RPM at full throttle. Now I'm only getting like thirty six, but it's going about the same speed. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just not going to get any any more speed out of it, you know. But I definitely feel that those RPMs need to be up. I don't think that would be good right. for that motor. You can't probably see it. There's two toms in front of my camera right now. It comes in in a week. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting fired up for 30. He owes me a hunt. Yeah. See, now, now you're live. You're live. <laughs> hey, look at that beard dragging the ground. Mm-hmm. Two point three. Two point three. Hard to use Yeah, I know. <clears throat> it's actually doing pretty good right now, Roger. Since I turned the end of the wind, when I was trying to go with the wind, yeah. it was just too crazy. And the wind is picking up by by the minute. You know, it's uh. It's supposed to actually get up to about 12. It's not ideal for me up here. But I'm hoping we can work around it. I know we can always go. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, hey, hey, skip, skip. That one's your phone. <laughs> okay, let me get this in. Another one on. Over? Yeah. Yeah, I'm over. No, I'm under you. I'm under you. Oh, you're under me now. Right. I'll just let you go and then uh, he's, uh, he's, he's another, yeah. another small one. Yeah. I'll get this in there. Another small one. <laughs> Can't even turn that tail. Yeah. Man, you should see the mud on this thing. It's covered in mud. There's enough mud in there. I could probably right clear view outdoors. Oh, I did. I think I'm caught up with you now. That's yeah. Uh, that's six fish, three and three. I know, buddy. You got you, you got luck. I was on that same rig when I <laughs> look at the mud. Can you guys see the mud on him? Just all down through there, all on his belly, <clears throat> on his other side. He's laying up underneath something. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fishy busy. All right. That's number six on the eclipse. Hey, another piece of bait. 
Okay. I've been having uh been having Floyd cut up most of the bait. I had a <laughs> Max. I got into it with my my best friend. I just don't understand. My best friend, he's always with me. I take him everywhere. How you want this? He's guy? right here. <laughs> and he went and stabbed me. Well, cut the same way as yeah, the last one. Yeah, just same way as the last one. Be fine. There you go. Um, That's a little bigger That's one. That's a little bigger, yeah. Oh, well. Big bait, big fish. We know how big it is. Yeah. Bait them fish can take, don't we, Roger? That was crazy on that flathead. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, I just had to look over in your pole. Just bend it. I'm like, okay, be sure. <laughs> Here we go. Give him a little chum. Yep. I forgot. Go on in. Yep. This guy. Good, good way to trip. All right. Let's see. 16 wonderful Plus people. Number six, right? Left white rod. <laughs> Somebody's seen it go down. Let's see. Would that be? Yep, he caught it right. Yeah, oh, it must have been mine. He was talking about. All right, I've been working on my little breakfast I had here for like a half hour. Well, the last two's been on the drag behind the boat on. Yeah, on the yeah, I broke a, I don't know if all of you in here seen, I broke a, my PB up here. My PB Blue Cat was only 17 pounds. I never got one over 20 pounds up here. But this morning I got one. It was 23 point something in the net. My net weighs about three pounds. So, um, that was 24 10. Or 24 10, yeah. yeah. 24 10. Three pounds off for the net. So 21 10. Almost 22. Um, I don't think I ever caught one over 20. Now I'm thinking about it. I might have caught one up here. It was 22. When I was uh, fishing with Ian or Ethan. Anyway, it was right there close to it. It was. <laughs> now, I have got a, uh, uh, my PB flathead was from up here, 37 pound. And that was dragging. That was, that was fun. And that was on one of my uh, medium light rods, too. My little noodle. <laughs> <laughs> But I beat that a couple Mondays ago at 53. If you guys didn't see that, I got a video out on that uh, last week. Roger got a nice blue that day, too. Your turn. Yeah, I know. Floyd Stern. I don't know what that was about. My screen just blacked out and then came back. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys can't see my boards. Can't, or... Yeah, you can see. No, you can see, uh, see Floyd's boards. They're not doing nothing right now. <laughs> They're not doing nothing? No. Just bobbing? Just the bobbing. Yeah. 
wind picking up just a little. Yep. Phil. Yep. Oh yeah, it slowed us down. We just got like a big gust of uh, wind. It just about stopped us. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm about to speed up a little more. We're back into, somehow we got back into seven foot of water. All the way out here? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Look at the map here. Oh, there's like a, it's like a little point underground or underground hump right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that could be good. Well, maybe, maybe we'll drag it up and over it and yeah. back down. And... Yeah, actually, my board should go right over that hump. It comes up to like six foot over here. And uh, you should be out into like 12, close to 12 feet over there. Yeah. You got some structure. Corey Belcher, what's up, buddy? You're always good luck, Roger. <laughs> yeah, I've caught several PBs with Roger. He's definitely my PB. <laughs> he is my PB. He is my <laughs> PB is. luck charm. Yeah. I just realized that, Roger. My 65, Blue Cat. My first... Uh, my very first big blue cat, that 44. Yeah, Rogers, Rogers showed me a lot on the, on the river. Um, we le we've learned a lot up here together, really, up here at Hoover. That one pole must be going over that structure. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, I did speed us up a little. Yeah. Well... It's running back at that point four again. Yeah. See, I had to go up a half notch. That's how much the wind has picked up. I had to go up a half notch just to keep us at that point four working. Sorry about that, Corey. Wish you was hey, on the boat, buddy. Pole. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Is it on something? Yeah. Yeah. It, was. it came loose. It came loose. We had a. Yeah. Hang up there. It almost looked like a bite. It did almost. I like seeing them getting caught on stuff because then you know there's some good structure down yeah. there. That's true, too. My PB luck charm. Huh. <laughs> well, I just need to fish with you all the time, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> we can bust out some PBs every day, every time. We have had some good adventures, that's for sure. Yeah, I don't think I've got to finish the story about my uh, my friend stabbing me. You know, my friend, this guy, he stabbed me. Four stitches right there in the hand. 
Got to take antibiotics. I take four of those a day for three days. Give me some drink. <laughs> yeah, it's a big red uh, deep V boat, Roger. Don't look like it says anything on it or not, but it, it looked like a pretty nice boat. I seen their graphs all lit up. Orange rods. Uh, little, little far to be able to tell. Looks like they're making a beeline right for us. <laughs> okay, now we're starting to pick up some bait over there on your side. Looks like. The boat is just now going over the, the hump. So our baits will be dragging up over that. A lot of times that can trigger trigger a bite. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they'll be laying on a hump like that, laying on, on the side, side of it. Or, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, definitely marking a lot more bait on his side. Now, it was all on my side. But the fish is over there. That's why the bait's over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm catching the fish over this side. <laughs> um, if <laughs> yeah, become famous. Yeah, that's it. Um. What if they are running all orange rods, Roger? Do you know who that is, more than likely? Hey, come to think of it, the guy that put on the, uh, that Zachary that put on the, um, when I came up to that seminar, you know, he was a speaker. He's got a big red tracker. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what it. that is. Is it a tracker? It looks like it. It does, don't it? Mm -hmm. That just might be him, uh, Roger. You know who I'm talking about. Zachary Sterling, I think is his name. He runs a lot of the term, or used to run a tournament thing, tournament series. Hoover and uh, they fish the Scioto a lot on that trail. Um, some of these other lakes up around here. Sandusky, I think he fishes up there a lot. Sterling, yeah. I just seen a big splash on the side. I bet they're catching one right there. They might be catching a nice one up there. I just see a big splash right by the side uh -oh. of the boat. Uh, that might be just that that thing we just talking about. It just caught me wrong. Yeah. Okay, now the boat should be coming off of the hump and i tell you it looks like there's a fish laying right there on top of that hump but it's probably a big rock or something Problem. hey i think i meant to put some binoculars in here i don't know if i did or not
got a set. I've got a set to, to put in here, and I keep forgetting. Oh, my goodness. That looks like a big shadow of a fish. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Hey, there's Greenwell. What's up, Mike? We're due for one. We are due for one. I'm hoping. See, our baits are probably just now starting to come up on the backside of that hump. I... I marked some stuff that looked pretty good there, but I don't know. Yeah, they're probably 100. Well, some of them's 200 feet behind the boat. Yeah, and actually those long lines are about 200 feet back. No, I can hear. Now you can hear. You couldn't hear earlier because of the wind, uh, Matt? Is that what you're saying? Or you was just having trouble with your phone? Mamma jamma. Mamma jamma. Okay. Hi, Jackie. I didn't know that was your YouTube handle. Oh, yeah, now we're back into uh, 11, 11, 6. See, we're coming off of that. We're coming off that hump. We're down in, yeah, we're almost down in 12 foot now. That quick. We marked some good stuff on that, so. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get a bite here. Yeah. Eddie Gross, how you doing, bud? Three nights, 71. It's all 71 stonefly, okay. Man, I tell you, it is a beautiful day out here. Yes, it is. Beautiful day. I just got to remember not to look at the sun later, right? I got my glasses, guys. Check it out. I don't. He don't have any. <laughs> My mother-in-law got these for me. Hey, we're starting to mark some good bait, too. Oh. Didn't need to see that, did you? See there? I can't see nothing. <laughs> I mean, those things are black. John Boys. What's up, John Boy? 16 wonderful people. Come on, fish. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, Bruce. Put the glasses over the phone and show me the eclipse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Mike. I'll do that. <laughs> J-Dog. Is J-Dog in here? Did I miss him? J-Dog, what's up? J-Dog in the house. This can't be real. I didn't think. There was any fish in Hoover after watching Eric and Curtis fish it. <laughs> ah. Poor guys. 
I'm glad to see someone knows how to fish Hoover. <laughs> yeah, Roger and Jackie had a tough night the other night. But, uh, hey, it's, you know, it happens, man. I mean, sometimes those things due to the, oh, man, we're, yeah, we're marking some good marks now, folks. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing. I see that fish one with the shadow and, uh, of it. Yeah, got the shadow yeah. of him. That's a good fish right there. But, uh, you know, sometimes they just get locked, y'all, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. No. Nah. And they'll, it's just due to the. They'll do that over spillway. You can float that cha one channel, float for two hours, and then all of a sudden, within 10 minutes, you'll catch 10. Yeah. I mean, they're there. Yep. Whether they're going to hit them. Whether they decide to eat or not. Yeah. J Dog, are you out on the water? You got your, you got your glasses. Did you get to see my glasses? See? I'm ready, man. <laughs> we're definitely starting to see some activity now. We're in 13 feet foot of water, so we're getting back to that. We should be coming into 15, 16 here very shortly. We are starting to pick up a lot more bait. Yeah, I, mean, I thought for sure coming off that hump, we would uh -huh. uh, we would pick something up. I would too. Yeah. <laughs> You're not. You don't suck at it, J Dog. You almost caught this new high state record twice. Roger sent me a picture. Some uh, young young girl caught one, 108 pounds. Really? I think it might be the new state record, new high state record. The uh, standing, it's been like forever. It's like 97 pounds. Look at all bait now. We're working. Huh. Tell you what, we probably should have freshened some of them baits up. I'm selling all my stuff and becoming a hairdresser. Becoming a what? <laughs> a hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. J Dog's hairdressing. She caught it on a jug. On a jug? Are you kidding me? Caught that fish on a jug. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I read that whole article or not. He sent me a clip. Oh, wow. Check out the... Uh, some, kind yeah. of, some kind of debris there. Yeah. Probably logs, I guess, right? I thought we were good. Well, wind's really whipping. Are you guys still doing okay on the sound? I got you down under the windshield. I hope it's doing okay. I could shut this middle one, too, if it... If it's messing with y'all, J Dog's going cutting. That's good. Like, <laughs> heard there were jugs. Heard they were jugs. Yeah. We need to catch some. We need to cut them. Don't hear no wind. Okay, thanks, J Dog. Uh oh, there we go. Here we go. Yeah. Told you we need to catch something. <laughs> I said we ain't caught nothing for a while. It's on. I don't think he's. I don't think he's real a whole lot. Oh, I forgot to do my other. Oh, I didn't pop my board. Oh, that's my hand. It helps when you pop your board. Yeah. Well, 
Now you can I like the switch in clips, really. Oh, yeah. That way you can do the same thing. What we could do, we got that other board in there. We can yeah. Switch them on it, and then uh, you can get real in, put it yeah. back out. And then do it. About the same. About the same? Yeah. That about might be the bigger. Yeah. yeah. He's about the same. He's about the same. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. 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 Inky and the shad head. In the shed head. I think that's what we caught our first one on was a uh, yeah. pink name dragon, and, and he had two pieces of cut bait on there. Yeah. Number seven. That's right, Roger. I'm ahead of you, Floyd. You better hurry up. I know. <laughs> I jumped out ahead. Then I think I think you put all the fish on your side of the boat. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> no, I'm seeing yeah. some good marks on your side. He's got some mud up on his back. I think they're, you know, like laying up under some of these logs and stuff that we keep marking. Yeah, I'll turn him different. Okay, hang on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what that looks like. Uh, let me go back. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh, there he goes. All right. Did you say that? Okay, now I gotta let this board out. Let that board out a little further. Hey, I still got that head on there. But I was thinking about pressing it up. Where did I take that off? There? Oh, you just, I was wondering, what is that bait clicker going on for? Yeah, I'm going to let that board go out, and then yeah. Floyd's a little new to the, uh, the dragon, but he's <laughs> catching on quick. Usually our rule of thumb, though, is you know, if they ate it, then there's something about it they like. Yeah. <laughs> No, you're right. You'll put a little piece of brace on. Yeah, I'm gonna share a buggy one. Okay. I never got to finish telling my story about the knife. So I stabbed myself. Oh yeah, I did. I have to take antibiotics. And I'm trying to keep the fish guts out of my cut. Boss's orders. The wifey. She doesn't she don't want to leave you. You want the head or the clicker on helps. You want the taste on? Yes, sir. Want that part for the head? Uh, head's what I had on there. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. right. I didn't know you. Pinky in the shad head. Pinky in the shad head. Look, they're coming right behind us almost. Uh huh. I seen what you done. You let that one out. What happened to our motor? Uh oh, it's it's turning way bad. Yeah, real bad. Yeah. Why did it do that? I don't know. I heard it, and then just as you said that, yeah, that was crazy. Shoot. Yeah. You might maybe I hit it. Button. I must have hit a button because uh, yeah. it went. It's like it went haywire. I think it's what happened. I hit the yeah. motor button. It just stopped. You'll have that sometimes. Yeah. Especially on us, on the pros who knows. <laughs> Definitely ain't pros. There's some great dragon people in the uh, catfish community. They, they know how to do it. 
<clears throat> I should uh I'm gonna highlight that one for you, Roger. I'm I'm learning to something, man. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but But you do have to push the, uh, open the bail, so it will. That's what it's getting ready to say. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, you're off to push the boat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are in 13.5 feet of water. Yeah, they're coming this way. We mm -hmm. are, uh, they are coming this way? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Probably, maybe he has binoculars, Roger. He probably has binoculars. He's seen us catching fish. Now he's, he's coming in right behind us. Yeah. Yeah, I must have hit the button or something. Yeah, you had to have. Because it uh, went all water. It went all haywire, didn't it? Yeah. About like I was driving earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to give him the crash course on uh, driving for to get bait. I had him steering me around. And I told him, I threatened him. I said, I'm going to take that remote from you. <laughs> you did. <laughs> so he, he figured it out. <laughs> Let's see a date when the water goes down a bit. Ah. Yeah, it's, it should be on a drop now, shouldn't it? I didn't look at the levels this morning because I was looking at stuff up here, mainly the wind. And I forgot to pull the spillway up to see if they've run the spillway yet. There's a guy. Yep, 7,400 coming out of the spillway now. 7,416. They got her cracked open. Cracked open, huh? That's a that's it's a paint, paint Creek spillway. He fishes there a Give lot. Give it two days, I'll be over there in chest waders and three way swim. <laughs> He's got a heck of a technique he uses uh, to catch those channels and flats. He even caught a big blue over there. He uses a bobber and a jig and shad or yeah, night crawler, what, night crawler, I catch, whatever. I catch all the shovel night crawlers. Really? Yeah. All the shovels he catches on night crawler. Yeah. We gotta run. Okay, Mike. We'll see you, buddy. Okay, there's some nice fish in the water column. Or uh see him right there. That's like right under the boat, mm -hmm. and then there's the shadows of them. Right. Oh yeah. So I don't really know how deep they are. Right. That looks like they're about uh, about halfway, so about seven feet. So those those probably aren't catfish. Yeah. I don't know though. After watching Spencer Bowers' uh, video with the live scope, man, it is crazy. Yeah. How those flathead. He was catching bait like we were doing this morning. Yeah. And he kept marking fish underneath the the bait, and so he put on a piece of shad and put it down on his bait and caught a nice flathead. Really? And then uh, then he did another video where I mean, they was catching, they was in a tournament. And he was getting all kinds of hits, but they was missing a lot of them because where they was fishing straight down and using circle hooks, they wasn't getting hooks set. So they thought, well, we'll just use a J-hook. And they wouldn't look. They didn't have no J-hooks with them. They had all circle <laughs> hooks. So they ended up catching a few of them. That was, that was a wild video. Yeah. Matter of fact, I ought kind of like they straighten themselves up over there. Yeah. Those almost do look like orange rod. Yeah. 
don't know if Roger ever said who it would have been if they had orange rods. I've been dead on my side of the boat for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm marking yeah. some good stuff over there. Yeah. Too. Oh, I believe it. I mean. Well, you know, so every fish that we've caught has had some mud on it. So. Oh, yeah, they're in the They're mud. definitely just coming off the bottom, you know, or, and hunker down on, on stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's another boat. That ain't a kayak. I thought it was a kayak. Oh, yeah. They're standing there. They're, yeah, they're crappie fish. They're or crappie something. or uh, saw guy or something. Or something. Yeah. This lake's pretty known for saw guy, too. That wind's kicking up. Is everything still yeah. all right on there? Oh, better check our speed. Yeah, we need more speed. We need more power. Mike Irvin, what's up? How you doing? What time's that eclipse supposed to start? I'm afraid to even look at the sun. Yeah. I think around two o'clock. Two? Yeah. What time is the eclipse in Columbus, Ohio? Here's what I found from wikivoyage.org. A total solar eclipse on Monday, April 8th, 2024 crosses the state from about 3.08 p.m. local time. 308. 3.08. 3.08. <clears throat> Eclipse ain't even until 3.08. I thought it was earlier than that. Yeah. Matt from Wannabe is in here. I didn't see him. I don't see him. Like right here, my arm's going to sleep. Really? From that rotator cuff. That stinks. See, we're almost back up to that creek. See, and there's like a channel, too, that goes out from that creek. Yeah. Like right on out to the lake. And now we're back in, now we're in 14 foot of water. Stupid phone. <laughs> hey, Skip, you want to go, bro? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go, bro? Come on, I'm going to be coming down your way for a long day, dog. End of the month. Down to Florence, Kentucky. I'm going to be down there for about five days, I think.
Right there's that channel, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. We only, well, we hit a couple back that way out here, but we only hit that one so far. Well, you know, really, even the the first, like the first one of those ones you caught were a lot bigger than all the other ones. Been kind of small, really. Yeah. Yeah, right. But you had that one that was yeah, pretty good. Big. And then I caught that one. Yeah. That yeah. was over there. I don't know if it's worth uh, you know, swinging around and going back up to it. Or it's like those guys are doing something else. Yeah, they're sideways. Yeah. I wonder if they're anchored right there. They, it seems like they've been right there for a minute. It does, do uh, Yeah. Yep. Yes, Florence, Kentucky. I think the 25th through the 30th. It's like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll down there Monday. Uh, me and Lana's doing a little vacation. We're going to go to oh, yeah. uh, Noah's Ark and the Creation oh, yeah. Museum. But uh, I'm also wanting to do some fishing. 30 minutes away from you? That wind picked up a little bit. Yeah, it did. That wind picked up real strong. Yeah. But um, I think I'm going to hook up with uh, the Chad one day. Maybe I can hook up with you one day, j Dog. Or same day. No matter me, we could all go. Debating on whether to take my boat down or not. No, yeah. Yeah. I kind of hate to because, you know, we're going to be doing the other things. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if I could just come down and fish with some people. Yeah. I would love the art. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping so. Something I've wanted to see. It's about time for fish. Yeah, it is. Look here. It's... I hope getting it's back. Right. It seems like every time we go over some of that debris. Yeah. Uh, I think that's what they are. They're laying up underneath those log. They're, you know, we'll see like a log or, uh, you know, a stick or something like that. And then it's like when we, by the time the lines get by, it, bam, we get a hit. And they're all covered in mud. I think they're laying right up underneath that stuff. <laughs> dead to you hey i've fished with you before i've never fished with chad he's got that nice pretty new boat man <laughs> i don't know if he's caught a fish out of that boat yet has he <laughs> so we go every year we stay in florence oh okay thanks jimmy yeah Oh, he don't let common people on his boat? <laughs> he don't let what? He said he don't let common people on his boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could somebody put up my channel? Or someone else's? We are in 15 foot of water. Made it back to 15. And we're we need a hit. We're out further from where we started, but we're almost right where we started at. I'm thinking we may see the only thing about swooping around though, that with this wind the way it's picked oh, up. I, know. I don't think we can do it. Yeah. We may have to go over and either go We may down have to use the big motor up. and run up and yeah, drag and out somewhere. Drag, yeah. 
I, um, you know, I'd still like to check out that shallow water here later. See, it's already 60 degrees now. It's yeah, warmed up 10 nice degrees. Sound. Really? 10 degrees since we started out this deep morning. Deep. It's nice. He's big time now, yeah. You're a channel, yeah, I'm a channel. I'm a channel. Clearview Outdoors. Big Mike, what's up? All the way down to Tennessee. I don't know if we still got Bobcat in here or not. He was in here earlier. He's down in Tennessee, too. Down to uh, Chattanooga. Oh, yeah. yeah. They both have channels. Him and Big Mike. They fish. They fish uh, right there. <clears throat> Ch Chickamauga Dam, I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Big Mike, he's a uh, he's actually a bank fisherman. He usually fishes from the dock there. Get some big yeah. old monsters. And then... Uh, Bobcat, he's always bumping. I seen Mike out, big Mike out there bumping with him on one video. Yeah. Back going, I think uh, J Dog got mad and ran about five people off with him. <laughs> well, I know one thing I'm off till May 21st. You are? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I've been off almost a week. So I got about seven weeks left. Come on. Hey, Dave. Making a help for you. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Come on, everybody, do it with us. Yeah. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, We're up to seven, I believe. Yeah. Biggest ones, 20, 21, 21 and a half pounds. The rest of them have been pretty small. Yeah. But I tell you, after, uh, after the weekend people had up here, Look at this here. I wonder what that is. Yeah. This looks like a huh. cable or something in the water, don't it? Yeah. That's weird, clear out here. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't get into that. That looks like a gar. See how long it is? Yeah. And then how you can long see the shadow. shadow. Yeah. You can see the shadow there. We don't want we don't want a gar. No. We are dragging. Mike, you're dragging. <laughs> Blame it on you. Sorry, J Dog. I had planned on uh, anchoring up at this creek mouth. If we'd have got here. If, I was hoping to get to it just a little bit earlier. I was hoping maybe we'd catch some flathead cruising in and out of there. Musky? Oh, yeah, it could have been a musky. That's right. Oh, I never thought of that, too. Yep. They got everything they got, up here. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. What did you end up doing to clear up the interference from your trolling motor? I got me another plug. So, see, I had... My trolling motor batteries, they're on a uh, charger. And then my battery for my graphs are on a charger. Look at that. Now, that looks like a catfish. Yeah. See it? Yeah. You ought to see this mark on my uh, fish finder, Roger. That's probably one of the best catfish marks I've ever seen. You can see its belly on, yeah. on side imaging. And that's your side. That's yeah. your side about 30 feet over. Okay. It's going to bite. Be there. Actually, it'd be about 40 feet over. Yeah. I'm about. I'm calling it. It's going to be on yeah. Floyd's side. The middle one. So, uh, anyway, back to the chargers. Um, I had a, I had a dual port. You know, you, you 
plugged your electric into it and it had two coming out so I could plug in both chargers. Well, when I would run my trolling motor, I would get all this interference on my grass. And so I got under there and unplugged it and found out that's, it took away almost all of it. I'm hoping, actually, it seems like it is Roger. Cause I, re, that's how I cut myself. I re, re I had those wires tie strapped together coming from the uh, chargers and I got me a new port. I moved it and got those wires completely away from each other. The chargers are away from each other. And now I don't seem like I have any interference at all. I know that was a long detail, but come on 80 pounder. That's right. Big Mike. I don't know if there's an 80 in here, but if there is, we I might get famous. <laughs> yeah, we won. As far as I know, a 50 some pounder, they've only been stocking blues in here since 2011. And just last year, I believe they was catching 50 pounders, 50, 52, 53. Roger probably not, might be able to correct me on that if I'm wrong. What did you But there are definitely 70, 70 pound plus flatheads in here. There's been a, well, we know of a 70 that's been caught and multiple 60s in the high 60s. Yeah. What? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I moved it. Oh, I was going to say, where did it go? I thought we lost it. I did. <laughs> he thought we lost the drift sock. I just moved I it. I didn't see you move it. Hey, Skip. What? Is that a snag, maybe? Might be a snag. I. Yeah, it might have snagged up, yeah. and then, yeah, and then it caught back up. Yeah. The other one's doing the same thing, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now we're in 16 foot of water. And we didn't. I, I am positive that was a big fish. Yeah. Which it probably still hasn't even, the lines haven't even got to it yet. No. We're marking bait. Man, first time in a year and a half. You need to go fishing, Jimmy. You go get them. What's today, the eighth? They raised it yesterday. The spillway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, today's the ace. They're about 13 feet above summer pool right now. Gotcha. Yeah, I look, hey, I, I remember I looked over there and it wasn't there and I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> I didn't see you move. He should be coming up on that fish, I'm Mark. Yeah. Anytime, uh, I'd say. That'd be awesome if you catch it. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a monster. Most of them were uh, 15 foot of water. When Roger was up here Saturday, he said he was marking big fish at 15 foot of water. Oh, yeah. Yep. There looks like it could be a big fish too. Look. Uh huh. Yeah, we're definitely starting to mark some. Sixteen and a half feet now, and I believe we're getting ready to go over that that channel. Yeah. That crick's right over here to my right, Roger. You probably know which one I'm talking about. That's where we marked a lot of bait and fish this morning and started dragging there and, and caught the uh, the bigger fish on up from it. Yeah. Yes. That is an awesome feeling whenever you mark a fish and then catch it, especially, especially when you anchor up on one. 
you know, you mark it and then put a mark on it and then you set up on it and catch it. Yeah, that's an awesome deal. River down at Portsmouth is angry. The Scioto is nuts, yes. Now, the Scioto did go down up here. Uh, I noticed that. So, Friday when I was going. Yeah, Friday when I was going down to Lucasville area, um, Paint Creek was clear up to the field. I mean, just right at the field. It didn't flood the field, but it was right at the field. And then the next day, I, I went back the same direction. And it was down. Uh, it was down about six feet from the, you know, top there. And then yesterday we went the same direction, went past that same creek again, and uh, it was about twelve feet down. So I was kind of surprised that the the Paint Creek and Scioto were dropping so much with the river cresting. That's. I believe the river crested yesterday, right? Yeah. Hey, there's Ellen Rummer. Hello to my father and to you too, Skip. <laughs> you better shut up, girl. <laughs> That's his daughter. That's his daughter and my co-worker. She gives me a hard time. Her and my wife, <laughs> man, I tell you. I doubt if my wife's going to be in today. She's got some issues going on with her computers. Bad stuff. I'm hoping she gets it worked out. Okay, now we're at 17 feet. Look at all that, like in 10 feet of water, in between 10 and 12 feet of water. It's like there's a line of stuff. Mm. I know it ain't a thermocline. Right. It's too early for that. Did you, was you seeing that, Roger, when you was up here? It's what we do best, yeah. <laughs> Roger can't even spell fish. <coughs> Warming up, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Starting to feel really good out here. Yeah. We just need another fish on. Yeah, for real. It's been a while. Yeah. If I shut that thing off. Must have. Mark, still marking fish. He just ain't hungry. <laughs> Wind died down. Yeah, it did. Wind actually died down some. Yeah. I would not be afraid to suspend a bait off of a board. I was marking suspended fish. Did you try the suspending, Roger? We've done that actually up here before. Yeah. That looks like a big, uh, that looks like a rock. 
big round rock. <laughs> he says, J Dog, your throne is made of porcelain. They're in there <laughs> trash talking each other. <laughs> They're kind of out from where they was before. Yeah, they are right there. Back down. I'm not sure yeah. what if they're dragging up or you know, they set up a different drag. Right. That must be what they've done. I'm watching them right now. And see that metal pillar on the thing? Yeah. They barely moved from there. See what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Now you can see the pillar and they're getting closer to that third pillar. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, they're moving. Yeah, they're moving. They're not sitting there now. See, they're past the third pillar now. There's that other bird. It's coming out of there, ain't it? Yeah. We need a hit. We do. We need a big hit. Touche. Still with Roan, Roger. <laughs> uh, Roger. Yeah, why ain't you blue, Roger? How do I do that? Walk me through it, guys. I love you, Roger. Let's see. What do I go into? Guests? More? Or do you have to do it when you're not in here? I did too. We could throw out a bigger drift saw. Try to go back that way. One time I've had, one time I had a, a 60 and two 48s. Two 48s on the side and a 60 there. Because <laughs> my, uh, I was trying to, that was back when I had lead asses. And yeah. I was trying to conserve all my. You have to go in through YouTube. Oh, great. My kicker motor stinks, man. They told me to go up and pitch, and I lost RPM. I was supposed to gain RPM. So I spent $100 on another prop, and it didn't work. It's worse. Well, I'm still getting the same speed, but at a lower RPM. It's weird. I think is what I should have done, and I actually thought about it. See, it came with a seven pitch four blade. And they were telling me to go to a nine or 10 three blade. But I'm wondering if I shouldn't have just went to a seven pitch three blade. Man, we got all kinds of good marks. I don't understand why we're not at least getting some hits.
Good. But Roger was up here Saturday and they were smart to fix everywhere. They didn't they didn't catch one thing. Really? Yeah. They were in one of them uh, one line tournament things. Yeah. Uh, one huh. And the with the way they're you know, there's ones and all of them it's had mud. Yeah. So I think they're about ready to start getting active, but they just yeah. Chris Souders, what is going on? How you doing, Chris? Hope you're having a great day, man. Trying to get some watch hours so I can get uh, monetized. <laughs> Nothing. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we need to get a sand. We've uh we've caught what is it seven fish? Yeah. Thanks, Chris. We got seven fish and uh, biggest is twenty one. I know one thing. We had no action since we got back in this deep, uh -uh. deeper water. No. Nope. And those guys. They're kind of hanging out in the shallower. I think maybe we'll maybe go back over there. Try to try go to down through it. there and then angle over that way towards towards that big house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just slowly get down there where we made that turn and then angle what, over that uh, way. I'm not afraid to put those socks on. Yeah. That's what I You'll got. You probably them. have to do something. That's what I got them for. Yeah. So I'm thinking about <clears throat> that boy, Eric. What's up, Eric? The water temperature is 51.84. Wasn't it warmer when we was up there? Or was it? That's about what it was. About up what there. it was? Yeah. I am finding the urge to come up there tomorrow now. Okay, yeah. Well, what will we do today? I'm going to get me a sandwich. Yeah, I'll take one. Uh, I got my own bread. Other bread. Yeah, I got my own bread. Okay. Just uh, you can just make yours and then I'll make mine. Yeah, okay, I'll, yeah, I'll leave the ham out. So I think is what I'm gonna do, guys. Is I mean, since we've got back into deeper water, we have not had any hits. So I think I'm just gonna circle around and go right back where we caught the bigger fish. I'm gonna whip out my uh, I've got a 60 inch drift sock and two 48s. I've done this before up here. Um, I'm going to throw them out, try to, because of the wind, and see if I can't make another run up through there where we caught those uh, nicer fish. But we're going to eat a sandwich first. But that ought to work out about right. Matter of fact, I could start turning. I could slowly... Start making us a turn. Get set up to do that. I know the wind's but I keep wanting to reach for my phone and check for the uh, wind. I know it's supposed to get up to about 12 here afternoon. It's almost noon. So. <clears throat> 11, 12 mile an hour.
I didn't. We didn't catch the big fish I marked. Because yeah. we definitely have dragged drug past him by now. I should have. Well, I couldn't take a picture of it. I wish I could have took a picture of that. That was one of the best marks I've ever seen on my side imaging of a, of a catfish. I mean, you could clearly tell it was a catfish. Electronics are crazy. Is the water still up in the trees here at Hoover? No. No, it's, uh, I believe it's about normal. Yeah, because the dock, or the, well, they don't have the dock in, but, uh, you know, the ramp was, it may have been up a little. It's, it's definitely not up in the tree. Get in there and get you some. Hey. What? Oh, yeah, I turned a little bit. Yep. Well, I must cut on some. Look up and it was going down. Do what? I was like, that's not cold with my cat. Okay. It's, uh, okay. Uh, no. I still got. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, they called me, doctor's office told me about that call. And said that was one not. We got some ham. Black Force ham. Said they said so that. Well, pepper Jack cheese. Pollock that they took a thing out. They it's said it was nothing. So they said it looks like I can wait ten more years before I have another one. All right, I'll, maybe I'll call the nurse station and see what. Can't they call them and see what's going on? Okay. All right, I'll call you in a little bit. Love you. A good sandwich, Skip. It is a good sandwich. Thank you. I'll tell you what, you make another turn like that, and then another turn, and we'd be back on, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't have those uh, 
socks out. You know, over here, it seems like it maybe that, much. that point it. right there is yeah. kind of blocking the wind, I think. Yeah. yeah. Could be. But once we get back up that way, then it'll get yeah. us again. Yeah. The wind's not always your friend. Hello, Lana, my wifey. Hi, baby. Did you get your computer stuff straightened out? We've uh, we've caught seven fish. Uh, biggest one is twenty-one. But we've had a dry spell, so we're gonna go right back up to where we caught most of our fish. I mean, we caught what five, right? Yeah. We caught you five caught two coming down this way. Five on that pass, so yeah. that's what we're gonna try. Yeah. You got it fit great. That's awesome, babe. I was worried about that. <laughs> hey Curtis. I forgot you owned these waters. <laughs> I'm fishing, Curtis. What are you doing? Trying to make a trying to make a turn here without uh, messing everything up. Yeah, without messing up <laughs> messing up our boards and stuff. So far, doing good. That's right, Curtis. The river is blowed out. So it's always nice having Hoover for a alternative. <laughs> alternative catfish destination. Good so far. Yep. I just keep, uh, you know, just tapping yeah. it every now and then. Uh -huh. Now we need one post take off, though. Yeah. Well, hopefully, when we make this, yeah. or maybe on this turn. Yeah. See, is what that does. That speeds your boards up. Yeah. Slows mine down. That's right. And one or the other might trigger. A lot of times it triggers a bite. Yeah. It's actually, we're going kind of fast. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if you all heard that or not, but since I'm making this turn, it'll slow my boards down, speed his up. Sometimes you get a, a lot of guys will zigzag just to do that. Um, try to find out what the, you know, fish are, yeah. what speed they're wanting. Especially wall, walleye guys do that a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they, they're trolling at a much, much faster pace. 17 people. All right. This painting's up and you can't do chip scratch your neck with your 
left over. Mm. <laughs> down to about point, point four or five. Yeah. But well, see, when they, you can't feel that wind over here. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, that it's point. Be that point, that right, point there. right there is blocking. Well, see, it's also shifting. Yeah. So. Yeah. That whole jump for some reason. Which one? Your white one. It's probably hit something. This one or this yeah. one? No, the that one. right one. The white one. That's number one. Two, number three. one. Yeah, number one. I just had to look over and do. Hey, Becca. You done with that side? Yep. You done? Yeah. Go ahead and make another one. I could do another one too. Well, go ahead and make yours. I'll make. Go ahead and make yours. And I'll make mine. And I'll put it up. How's that? Huh? Go ahead and make you another one. And then I'll make mine. And I'll put it up. Okay. See what I mean? Gotcha. Sorry about moving the screen, everybody. I had to move the screen down below the windshield, and my seat keeps hitting hitting the steering wheel which is what I have the phone connected to so <laughs> keeps moving you all around that pepper jack cheese is pretty good ain't it uh huh yeah hey Skip huh? we're going right going right or going left I don't think he was wanting to go that way well it was it's just trying to straighten itself out Oh, okay. There you go. I just felt the butt end of the boat going the, opposite, the wrong way. Because I knew we was turning right, right? Well, I kept just, you know, jogging. Bumping it, it right. Bumping it right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it, I feel it, it was kind of bumping the other way. Going back right or left. Okay. 18 people. Zach's just listening. Glad you're in here, Zach. Oh. I know. I stabbed myself yesterday, Becca. So, or, uh, Saturday. Four stitches. 
hope you didn't get hurt too bad. Fist sizzle. What's up? Oh, got to keep my turn on. We should have, uh, we should freshen up all our baits too, really. You know, you hear me, Floyd? Hi. I said we ought to freshen up all of our baits. Yeah, you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Let me get this made here and then we'll work on that. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, we want to get turned good too. Yeah. Trying to get set back up on the pass that we did, the first pass we did. Um, we caught five fish. So we're going to try to do it again. I don't know if we can with this wind. But the pass we just made, we only picked up two little ones at the, at the beginning of it. Our biggest fish came from. When we made that turn. Yeah. fresh bait on and then get ready to head down that way. Um, I was wanting to make the turn first. Go, okay. Well, go ahead and, so go ahead and eat your sandwich. Yeah, I'll eat your sandwich. Water is 52.84 now. Wasn't it just 51 something? Yeah, 51.8. 51.8. It's now 52.78. Mm-hmm. Guys in the crappie boat are going right into the creek that we're wanting to drag in yeah. front of. Yep. You'll have that. Yeah, that is a good good point, uh, Roger. Okay, we've just about made our turn uh -huh. complete. We're going to freshen up our baits. What happened to John boys?
It kind of stinks when you're on stream mode and you can't see your battery power. I've got it plugged in, but I just heard it make that noise. Oops. Sorry. Probably hard seeing your screen now. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. That wind's like nothing right here. Yeah. Well, you can see the break out yeah. there. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about taking this one off, too. Mexican. Nice, <clears throat> um, usually we do it right here. Oh, okay. Look, put it on there and then uh, I can clamp it down. Yeah. Well, the reason why we don't usually put it out there because you know we're running a big motor and just oh yeah, uh, yeah it off. You're right. No, I've seen that. Okay, we're going to try to freshen up our bait. Well, we get some poles in before I cut the bait, right? Don't matter. No. That's, I guess. I didn't have no bait on that one. No bait. I have bait. Hard to catch fish with no bait. Yep. You get the ball in first. I guess they didn't go up into that creek, huh? I thought they fed right for it, didn't you? Huh? I th yeah. But uh, they stopped. Oh, did they? Yeah. They stopped before they got there. Okay, 5.6. That's not too awful bad. Seems like my phone. Seems like my phone got, uh, I can't hardly see it now. It's like it dimmed on me. many have y'all caught we've caught seven fish the biggest is 21 and that is uh my cousin-in-law floyd daddy with me my wife's cousin just making sure i didn't miss any uh miss anything there yeah, i don't know why but it's like my screen dimmed and I can't get it to brighten back up. Yeah. 
Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Cousin. You put the lunch meat back in the corner? Yeah. No, it's laying. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. I, just want... <clears throat> I need to get in here to get that big dress up. Okay. Oh, no. That's the little one. My bad. Big one's back here. Oh, you got eight? Yeah. Let's get that out. Stretch it out. Let's get that out. You want different? Just let me know. You ain't got what you see? Go get it. Right? Yep. Chad is for bait. That's all we have is Chad, Chad, Chad. Chad, Chad, more Chad. Straight back. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll just cast it out there whenever it gets. Right. Check out that Uncle Lou's planter board. Made for Clearview Outdoors. Watch where I'm going. What's the matter? Mine ain't going 
I, I, I did some turning there. It's oh, probably okay. just not pulling right yet. Let's see. Man, I wish my screen would get bright again. I can't. I cannot see what everybody's writing. I got that hooked up right. right here. The reds on the right front. side. Yeah. The front. Yeah. 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 Maybe I ain't got enough time to make it do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my piece too. Seven. Oh, okay. He was answering you, Becca. I guess I didn't miss miss any. So I'm trying to get the, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get everything on. What's your speed? Uh, about 0.5 or just under. You put your one that's going out there. You ran that shorter and you put that on the outside. Yeah, I wouldn't have put mine longer. No. Oh, shit. I got 400 <laughs> some yards out. The feet. I forgot I had that open skip. <laughs> I was running out of strain. Hey, me. Hey, skip. Yeah, watch it. I know. Yeah, this one here, I was doing 200, and I had 400 out. He almost pulled it. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Oh, dear. We've all been there. Yeah. I forgot about it. I'm not going to lie. I have one on right there. One on Now. Would you Thanks. put your long pole on this one and then the short one on that one? The out farthest. That's how you got um, yours. And that no, I've got mine. Yeah, I got my long one here. And yeah, other that's why I meant. Because when this goes out, it's going to come back here. So yeah. So you'll get it over that line. Right. So what I want, I want to throw my short pole out second. Long pole first. Yeah, long yeah. pole first. And you got it okay. dragging away, sir. You should okay. be able to throw right We're in between them. Just like this. Right there. And then that's my long pole. Okay? Go ahead, Skip. I went too far on that one. Skip, you. Pull, you didn't pull as bad as mine was. <laughs> See, now this one here, what did we run? 175? Or 100 and then 75, and then the other one 50, something like that. Yeah, 175 on your outer one. Yeah, and then uh, 50 on the one, other one. 40, 150. 140, yeah, 140. Okay. That's what we did. Yeah. Another good reason to leave the chicken. Right clicker on it yeah 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 that was you could have done the clicker on there. but it wasn't no line would have went out i was letting mine out he's learning he's a he's a learner in prospect <laughs> prospect does anybody know how i can get my phone to light back up it's like it dimmed and i wasn't even touching it it just did it it's like when we turn around and the sun or sun hit it like it, I seen it click and it dimmed. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, every time that wind gusts, it speeds us up to 6.6, 0.7. Then we'll go back down. We're going to have to throw that figure off. Why is it pulling so far down, Skip? Huh? Fill it. Oh, there it did. It was just it was where it was Yeah, it was hoopful. It was a okay. little tight. That's good. That's good. I see now. Turn off auto okay. brightness. What's your... Well, I'd have to go out of StreamYard and do that. Try putting your hand over the camera. Back off again. Nope. Okay, I'm whipping out the big 60 inch drift shop here. This wind is not being my friend. No. Are you going to put that one out over here? I'm going to put it out back here. Okay. Put this one right here. Okay. I set the pole in there, Skip, and I reset the counter, so I'm just going to go 40 from there. <laughs> It'll be a 40 feet. All right. We got the big 60 inch out. Breakers went out on me while I was driving. Ooh. Mark and sign. That don't sound good. This is that channel here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yep. It's that creek. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh we're we're set up about right. I think we can get these uh the sock grabs a hold of us here. It should uh spin us right around. Yeah, now we're at point three. Point three. Right. I might speed up just a hair because okay folks, I think we may have may have done something here. I don't know. Underway. We online? We online? Yeah. Yeah, we're online. We still got 14 people with us. <laughs> well, we need to catch one. Yeah. 
Yeah, every, it seems like whenever you catch one, then more people come in. <laughs> yeah. I should have laid a track that way. That's what we should have done was just drove back down through, laid a track. The devil is trying hard. But God is stronger, and thank God we're good. You got this bait on? Around here. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. Huh? You got new bait on? We got new bait on. And we're, we got a new drag set up. And we got a new line. We got a 60 inch drift sock out, which yeah. is holding us back right at point three. No, we need to hit. Yep. We need a fish. We need a fish. We need a fishy. We're in 13.4, but back there is uh, 15, 16 yeah. foot. This is the way we started out this morning. Yeah. And uh, really, it was right after we got up past this yeah. creek. Well, yeah. And we started. Once our yeah. lines got up past, there's a creek right here coming out to, to my left. Uh, be your all's right, I guess. I got to take this off. And uh, as soon as our lines got past this, there's a big ledge over here. And once them lines got up to that ledge, I think those fish were holding that ledge. So we're going to try it again. That's all we can do is not catch any. Yep. That's for sure. It is warming up quick, I can yeah. tell you that. We are hoping for good things. I'd like to see Floyd get on a good one today. We get a couple more good ones in the boat. We'd be for a good trip. Oh yeah. Hey, I, out of all the time I fished over there, I've caught shovel about 36 pounds on cut shad. That's been about the only one, you know. Yeah. You ever use live ones? No. 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 I've used live bait though, but not live. I'm assuming not close. really live shad. No. Hey, Skip. Huh? We ain't moving, are we? No. No, we're not. <laughs> I, I just happened to look at my things, and they're coming back in. And I'm like, are we so, moving? And I look at this, this sock, and it was just laying there. <laughs> Somehow I turned off the speed. And yeah. Went. We wasn't moving. I'll keep you straight. There they go. I was like, wait a minute. Something's going on. You done that on purpose, then. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just don't let me have that control of my body. It's hard to tell what to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> we try to go around the circle. Okay. 
Yeah, we was down to zero. <laughs> for a little bit out for than what we were. Yeah. But, but the, and then again, too, them fish might move just a little because the sunlight getting up. You never know. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey. We got to do better than we did out there the last hour and a half. Yeah, I hope so. You know, right? Hey, there's some shad popping. Yeah. It must have had something to do with the sun hitting that, probably a sensor or something. It's got my, uh, it's got my phone dimmed and I can't hardly read the comments. I am fishing at Hoover Reservoir in, in uh, Westerville, Ohio, Jimmy. I'm not sure where you're from. Uh, John, well, we're not on the river. That's what, yeah, the river is high. It crested yesterday, like 52 feet, I think. And, uh, oh, man, the boat's turned. That's why we came up here to the, to the lake. We got blues in this lake. They're, uh, they put, started stalking them in 2011, and last year, they I believe it was last year, they started catching 50-pounders. They have a very high success rate of growth up here. Um, there are several articles, if you look it up, on Hoover Reservoir in Western Ohio, or uh, Westerville. Um they grow about twice the rate as they do in the river or more here. So it's pretty awesome. And there's also a big flathead in here. There's been several 60s caught out of here and last year there was a 70 caught out of here. And the state record flathead is only 76 pounds. So a lot of people think that it'll come from this uh, reservoir someday maybe today maybe today hey. <laughs> look at there i'm gonna drag right into that probably all that low yeah. yeah seems like i'm out further than i was the last time that it's staying out there for the rain seems like it yeah. I just cannot seem to keep us on a straight path. Sixty uh sixty inch socks sure slowed us down though. Yeah. But the where the wind gusts, it makes it really hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because when it gusts, it wants to kick the rear end around. Right. That's why it's so you hard. You got them both over there, don't you? That's why it's so hard to steer. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah. What's model of tracker do you? I have the tracker uh, Pro Guide 165. They, I believe they discontinued this one. They only did it for a few years. Um, it's a... Uh, it's about 16, nine, 16 foot, nine inches long, so almost 17 foot. It's got a 115 on it. Uh, it does really great. Um, I've had it all over the place. <laughs> I've had it all over the river. I've had it uh, Lake Erie. Lake Erie did get a little rough. Uh, one day, a big storm blew up. There was waves coming over the nose, about four footers coming over the nose. That was, that was a little spooky, but luckily it was close to shore. And was able to get back in. I 
I've got a 36 uh, pound or a 120 Tarova on the front. I used to only have an 80. Well, actually, it came with a 55. That definitely went enough for the river. I got an 80 Altera, and I had a lot of trouble in the winter with it freezing up. It broke uh, two, maybe three times, but luckily it was still under warranty, and uh, they fixed it. But I, I decided to go with the Trove, and I ended up selling my Altera. And I didn't have to put, I got enough out of it that I didn't have to put that much with my, to get my Tarova. But the Trova is definitely winter, more winter friendly. We fish a lot in winter, and uh, that Altera just did not like it. Do you have a tracker, Chris? You're not the other tracker out here on the boat, are you? <laughs> or out here on the lake? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're we're just about look. We're just about right on track. Mm -hmm. Just about got us right on the track we was on earlier. Yeah, we may be a little bit further from the bank than we were, but not much. No, not enough to hurt. I didn't realize the eclipse was uh, so later in the day. I thought it was around noon for some reason. That's why I came on at 10. I thought it was, I thought it was 2 o'clock. Why not? Thirteen foot of water. Water is fifty two point six. Uh, we're going too fast. Or slow down. We were right around uh, four, four point four point mm -hmm. four five. When we was getting our bites earlier, so trying my best to stay around that. Huh, I wonder where the the big tracker went to. He must have went on the other side of that island. Oh, yeah. That's real shallow up in there. What's going on my board back there? It partially begins at 12.33 here in Texas. It totally begins at 1.40. Okay, so you'll be seeing it before us. No. We 
losing? Yeah. What about point three? Point four. That's okay. Point three. Oh, okay, I can see it now. It didn't seem like it was. I was just looking at the I looked over at the trees, I can see it now. I was moving my head though. <laughs> We should be getting, well, what was it, 17 minutes? No, it wasn't that long before we caught the first one. It was right in here, wasn't it? Yeah, that was right, was in, right around in this area. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe up a little further. But. Yeah, not much. Nope. Just don't mean it's going to happen again. But no, hopefully it but. Will. Hey, look, look, there's another one. In. Uh -huh. Now look at that. That's. Yeah. You see the white and then the yeah. shadow? Yeah, I see it. There's another good mark on a catfish on my fish finder. Man, I cannot believe how that thing is picking up. I think I have my transducer dialed in pretty good. See, now we just got a big dust of wind. Starts turning, yeah. Starts turning. Uh -huh. We should have burned the bass boat. <laughs> oh yeah. We'd have been, uh, you know, closer to, closer to the water. <laughs> it's one thing yeah. about the deep V. They do catch the water or the air, the wind. Yeah. Oh wind. Yeah. Is that that tracker boat? That, that may be. Or is that no, a different one? I'm the other way. Hey. Huh? There you go. I don't know. It might be. Hey, look at the mud line over there on the shore. Or, well, maybe look up, up here. If you look. Maybe over here? It almost looks like there's a mud line, you know, out oh. from the shore a little bit. Oh, I got it, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe it's just the way the sun's hitting it. Yeah, it could be. It could be. The water itself. I see what you're saying. I am running uh, uh, Garmin. Garmin, three nights. Garmin. I got a 12, a 10, a 12, and a 93. Just got the 12 this uh, this year. I wanted it last year when they throw them on sale, but every time I'd have it in my cart, I'd go to order it and it'd say out of stock. I mean, like six times. So finally, I just said, heck with it and got the 10. And then this year, that popped up on an email. I thought, well, I'll try it one time. Bam, I got it. <laughs> huh. Actually, it was before the beginning of the year. But... You're looking to get a pro. Yeah, the... I would definitely get the 17 over the 165. Um, that that one foot makes a lot of difference, believe it or not. Um, so I think their 17 is almost 18 foot. Is almost an 18 footer. I would have loved to have had you know one of the uh, the targets. the target 18 or 19 but man just so much money and then so much you gotta have so much bigger motor more gas that 115 man it's a sipper i tell you i love it i can go out i can go out on lake probably four or five times on a tank of gas uh, the river i can i could do two trips easy but i always fill up anyway just just in case 
case we end up making a big run or something. But it's definitely good on gas. You know, of course, you don't have the speed. Sometimes you wish you had a little more speed. We all like speed. Or I've always liked speed. That's <laughs> what we was raised on. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> speed. Let's go faster. Yeah. That's definitely another deep V boat, if that ain't them. Yeah. That's definitely it. There's a lot more boats coming out now. Uh, we got here, there was only one other boat besides us. Yep. About right in here, I believe, is when we start picking up fish. So yeah. hopefully it'll happen. Yeah. We're in 12 foot, 12.8 foot to be exact. Uh, Floyd's got a nice tree coming up on his side. Yeah. Uh, there's a big lay down. Look, there's another. Uh-huh. See the mark right there and then yeah. the shadow? Yeah. Man, Roger, I am picking up some great fish today. Why won't they bite? Got any dynamite? You hear me, Skip? Dynamite? Yeah. <laughs> well, they make them bite. I guarantee you we'd have we'd have the SWAT team on us for you now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't mess around up here. No. They have like their own police department up this. This lake is where Columbus, Ohio gets its drinking water from. So it's a 10, 10 horsepower limit lake. Um, and they are very strict about dropping your big motor. Believe me, I know. Yeah, that would probably be nice, uh, John boys. Little bass buggy, pontoon. There's sometimes that's what my wife wanted when we got this. She wanted a pontoon, but I wanted something I could take anywhere, you know. And you, you know, you can take pontoon, but I want a deep V. So I guess I got what I wanted. Yeah. yeah that looks like a fish right by that piece of structure right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's only that should be on my uh, maybe long on the, pole, maybe on the long pole. Was, or, not too far out of mine. There's definitely fish here. Every fish that we've caught, uh, all seven of them have mud on them. So they definitely have been hunkered down. Up, I think they're you know up underneath the uh, this these trees and uh, logs and stuff like that. We're seeing. We're going along perfect. We're going along really better than we were earlier. Earlier. We are trying to get on them. We had some hot action there before us. Well, we caught three right before I... Uh, started to stream i started to stream a little early yeah. yeah 
I actually looked at the 175, Chris, when, when I got this one. But at the time, this one was better for my budget. So that's what I got. That's what my wife got me. She, I've always wanted a boat, a boat like this. Tried a few John boats, and they just they didn't cut it. Back when I was a pond hopper, I was going to be the next bass master. <laughs> you hear that? Back when I was a pond hopper, I thought I was going to be the next bass master. <laughs> I used to love to fish ponds. Yeah. I used to love to fish for bass, really. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Which I can still go for a, a nice bass fight every now and then. Yeah. Every now and then you catch, you know, I'd be catching bluegill, get yeah. a hold of bass. Well, we just, uh, somebody, one of the kids catch bluegill with that one pond called a bluegill, and then about an eight pound bass they did. Oh, man. Yeah. That's nice. Man, all that stuff we was marking, we should be going through with them lines now. Yeah. We got fresh bait on. Shad's all we got today. Yeah, we got all fresh bait on. There's a few docks right up through here. And last time, I mean, I just about grazed his board with, oh, yeah. with one of them. And it was right, by the time the line got to where that was, uh, he caught a, a decent one there. Oh, wow, look at, oh, man. That one there, I just seen it. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was I caught some tail end of it. Yeah, it looked like a fish right on the bottom. Fishy, fishy. Is everybody saying fishy, fishy? It is warming up. Walleye at this uh, at this lake, Chris. Is that what you're talking about? See, I'm, I think I did the same thing, yeah. but I think I'm actually closer this time. Trying to run him on this dock over here.
I don't, I don't know if that's that tractor or not. Uh huh. I don't know if that's that tractor boat back there or not. Right. Yeah. Like you, I didn't know. Uh, I'm not sure about the walleye. I know there is walleye in here and saw guy. I've heard that it used to be a really awesome walleye fishery and then they just quit stocking yeah. or something, but there's still walleye in here. Yeah. But they all, they started, I guess they stopped stocking the walleye and started stocking the saw guy. How much difference is, is it between a walleye and saw guy taste? I think saw guy tastes better. You think saw guy tastes better? I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that several times. I do. What do you all think? Do you think walleye or saw guy is better? You going to clear that? It looks like it. I'm getting, I'm, I'm hitting some trash. Yeah, there's a bunch over there now, but... But other than I that, feel like that's where the fish are landing. Yeah. Yeah. Or they were earlier, yeah. So far, no hang up, no hang up. But then that bigger one, it seems like I caught him out here in the open water, you know? No, yeah. I don't know if we Yeah, that's right. I don't know if we'd pass any trash or not. We was actually making the turn, wasn't we? I can't remember exactly. It's either right after we made the turn or right when we was making the turn, Skip. Might have been. So that would have, that would have slowed my board down. Man. I hung up on something good. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Not going to. I sped up. Yeah. We use that rubber hose. It's a lot easier over here. Yeah. Where's it at? Use a rubber hose to get your baits unhung. The other one, too, Skip. Uh, the other one, hung? Yeah. Going, won't break. Mm -hmm. That man drilled in, son. Is that been doing the same thing? Speed it up. Just hold it there. All right, we're going to like 10. Dang, 
sure you're not pulling it? I think I'm pulling something, Skip. I think you are, too. I am. Maybe it's a fish. You think? Yeah, I'm pulling something, Skip. Probably just gonna try reeling in. Oh crap, look at that board over there. Oh yeah. Reel in this. <laughs> we got into a mess. Is it still pulling yeah. that line? Yeah, now it is. Give me a half back. Let's see. I'm pulling something. Yeah, you're pulling it. You hold it down, I'll reel it in. I can't. Oh, that's right, because you you got the motor moving, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Let me get back um, there. Good try. Now, if I try to stop this, then the rear end's going to go. Yeah. And we're going to, we're going to have to get the holes in there. That's what we have to do. It's not breaking. I'm pulling something, Skip. Here, it, it, I thought something came up behind the hunt this. Hang on. I think we got a tree or something. Maybe it's that white shark. That's right. Maybe. Maybe it's a big old flathead and he's just staying on the bottom. Now, I go like this. <laughs> that hurt. Where I'm pulling so. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Let me try. You pull. See it. See what it looks like here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if I were to drill this other pole in? The one straight back. Maybe. Got there, hook one to it with this, too. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's coming with us. It's loose or it's moving. It's moving. I tell you what, you walked up to the front of the boat, Skip. Let me take that right there. You walk up to the front of the boat, I'll hold the line and you reel to me and then walk up to the front of the boat. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll hold I'll hold the line while you come back to me. Or what? I don't know. I'm just wondering if you should Reel in, go back and figure out what it is. I only got one more pull to reel in. <laughs> well, that one never gets the drift sauce in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 I did skip. God bless. Is that in it? Yeah. I ain't going to do it. I, I wouldn't even think about the drift song. You know what I mean? You're real with me, I'm going to leave this set right here. Again. 
we get that thing. I wonder what the heck it is. I don't know. That's a... Uh... I think we're going to have to go back and get it. It won't, it won't break. <laughs> So we got a hold of something back there. It's barely coming. So we're going to have to, uh, it won't break. I was, we was trying to just break it off, yeah. but it won't break. It's like it's barely moving it, like maybe a big log or something. So we're going to have to uh, reel in and go back and get it. Yeah. I hate to lose all that line. No, it's bad. Whatever it is, we'll probably get. Might be a big suitcase for mine. There we go. Huh? Never know, do we? That'd be good to get on the Eclipse Day. Yeah. So they could see us open it up. Couldn't they? Yep. Well, to be honest, you know, this wasn't producing like it was last time anyway. So. No. Too, you know? we, yeah. might, we might just make a move. Okay. I'm going to throw this stuff. Well, we'll throw it in where we're going to. I can't. Be better off going stocked in right there, right? We make. If we make a move, you're going to pull a sock in anyway. Right. Grab the uh, rope. Grab the rope. The rope. And it'll pull a tag out. Okay, right in. There's a big log right there. Yeah. Here, hold that right there, Skip. Never mind, I got it. I got to get this thing. Okay. This is that. Around and reel that in. Oh, oh, that was the good shot. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I Well, no, it. I got that hook on. Oh, the hook was done. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get back. There it is. Chaos. Yeah. Okay. We got that skin. Now, hold this up. Ain't that a crock? It happens. Yeah. Stuff happens. Good April Fool jokes on the Hoover. Andy Monster's the real deal, that's right. Yeah, I like Andy. 
but usually the 30 will break, you know, yeah. get enough tension going. I'm oh. just curious what it is. Yeah. Because I'm pulling it stiff. It might have been big log, but I'm just pulling it. You know? Yep. So I can feel good. I thought I felt a head shake. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's buried in for the long haul. Turn that clicker off. Oh, shit. Yeah. Turn that clicker off. Turn that clicker off. Yes. Thanks for saying that. It wasn't annoying to me. As annoying to me because I can't hear it as good. <laughs> it was driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, get past it and I'll get that off. I just reeled up and I'll get okay, it. I got you. Somebody stowed something in off that dog. He's got a monster. He's got a monster. He's taking Watch. us back the way we came. Watch us get up here and it just pop off. Oh, yeah. Then we won't even know what it was. No. <laughs> I'm curious. It's got me. Because I'm telling you, it was out there, Skip. Look, that was right in front of that dog. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying, though, it. Actually, it, I think it's it was giving right there. It's giving? Yeah. What? See? It's coming up. Bring it up. I see see what it is. Um, Need me to move rod or? No. Come on, spot lockers. Come on. I don't want to. Sure it's coming? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming it's up. Cold. It's coming up. It's coming up. Can you grab that thing and you can't hold it there, can you? What's that? No. Reel down. Reel down. Just keep pulling it up. You there it's coming. Here, hold this. You might break it. Go ahead. Reel down. That's how people lose big fish right there when they grab the line. I know. I know. Go ahead and pull up. Pull up? Yeah. I'm just barely giving you... Now, if you see me jump and run, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Big snapping turtle. Or yeah. Something. What is it, folks? What is Big, it? Look at this. Look. Look. I can't see. You're right in my way. Right here. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Here. Make it fun Okay. Today. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. We got to show everybody. They got it. They want to know what it is. Hey, we pulled that there right it is. <laughs> we, we were pulling it with us. Yeah. We pulled that we've right out of the hey, ground. Roger, we've had that on the boat before, ain't we? Oh, dear. I'm, I'm wore out now. I ain't kidding. I got a picture of him holding up a something similar. Though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, man. I knew it was dipping. Y'all still there? Phone did a bunch of crazy stuff. Y'all still there? Man, I hope it ain't that stupid turtle. <laughs> I hate. We put our initials in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to try something different. We're going to make a move. I want to go. <clears throat> Here, give me this. Watch yourself, Skippy. Hey, we got good line on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I want to go up there and. Uh, I don't care. Let's go. At least scan. I want to hey. scan that uh, shallower stuff because it's 70 degrees now. Sun's up overhead. You're going to use that? Yeah, I'm going to use the kicker. So I'm going to be firing up the kicker. I hope it don't make too much noise for you all. 
Maybe I should just go ahead and mute. It's really not that loud, but uh, I'll just go ahead and mute the mic, everybody. Hang tight. Roger, what do you usually keep your trolling motor on to steer with? Hey, minnow dunkers. New record for a high. Is it official? Tommy? I've got it on like three and it seems like it's steering pretty good. I hope that motor's not too loud for y'all. See, we're doing about, about five mile an hour. One hundred and one pounds, man. It's official. One hundred and one pound. That blue cat. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Darn. Did they keep it alive? Can you guys hear me? I thought I turned my mic back on. Roger's not answering me. They released it back into the Ohio River. Cool. We'll catch him this fall. He fattens up a little. Roger, did you hear me about the... Uh, The trolling motor, what do you usually keep yours on? I'm keeping mine on about three and it seems like it's doing okay. Yep, that's true, Tommy. <clears throat> oh, okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes you don't even turn it on. extra boost. Let's see what it does when I crank it up. It didn't really raise me up that much. It's a little over five.
sack for the sack work. Put it in this. Marking a lot of bait over here. What's definitely on 12? No. Yeah, good luck, brother. No, someone. You knew somebody would be out there in the clips? Sorry. No, you're fine. I'm trying to get this boat under control. I know. It's getting a little zigzag. <laughs> I think those guys are catfishing. That's a little dumb, or a little V bottom area. Oh, yeah. That's the same one. That's that no, one. No, no, no. nowhere. Yeah. Because that other one was red, but. Yeah, I don't know where they went. I'm yeah. wondering if they didn't go back, all the way back in here. They have. Uggaloo! What do you say, Uggaloo? Got your boards, putting them to use today. Caught seven, biggest one was 21 so far. They all come on the boards except for, I know actually, we caught two small ones on uh, without board, just on a long line. And all the other ones come on the boards. Okay, we're in 11 foot. Oh, there's a nice part. Look at that. Look at all that bait. Monster. A lot of bait. I say look we, on the bottom too. Let's drag back through here. I want to drag this shallow water. It may be a bad call, but I'm doing it. Well, let's that do was it. part of my plan. So. That's, that's your plan anyway. Hey, always stick to your game plan. That's right. I want to catch a hondo in two foot of water. Me and Zach did it a while back. It was about three foot of water, probably. Two fish in one end. The twin caught there all year. <laughs> He's talking about uh, Curtis and Eric. Thank you. Which way we're going to go? Uh, we're just going to drag right back through here. Okay. And maybe just make a big circle. A big circle around. Hey, I'm good with that. That's what we're going to try Let's to do. Let's do it. Don't talk about it. Talk right. about it. Let's do it. Just do it. I need some bait, though. Yeah. Okay, you gonna... tell me what you want. About the same. It's about like this. It's about like this. Okay, this is the head. We're going to take this piece. We're going to throw this in. Smaller ones, we're going to go right here, right here, right here. Okay. I want to get 
too many. I'm not going to cut the end yet because I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just going to smack this one and then put on a little piece of fresh. You know what I mean? Yep. I'm going to smash him like that and then take, not that, take this one right here, cut him right there. Uncle crazy. Lou, I love those boards. I need to get some more of this collar. Which way did you say? I do. Oh, do that okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to. No, I'm going to point five. Six. That's a little too fast. Fifty-four. I still got waves. Right about one seventy. You hear me? Mm -hmm. About one seventy there. I'm gonna get this to hundred and then seventy five. Might speed us up a little bit to get us going here. Yeah. Go for it. And they pull the board out of it. Uh -uh. There she goes. Okay. This one is. Okay. And it's warming up fast. Yes, it is. I'm getting hot. It warmed up real fast. Say someone here at Rocky this weekend. What's going on, Rocky? Uh, Tommy, that one's pulling out. Ooh, ooh. I didn't know you had that over there. I didn't. Even, I forgot it was there. <laughs> trying to throw, okay. trying to throw my own rod in the water, Roger. Jeez. Hey, I didn't do it. I didn't know you had it over there in that holder. Yeah. I was probably made a mess. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Look at this. Can I do the rig? Lost my bike. Yeah, right in there. Oh, we got we'll get, get this over Go ahead. I'll take care of this. Get this down. There it is. Wait a minute. You got it? Oh, no. I think I do. Hang on. Put, put the board out. Yeah. Yeah, you might have to open it there. That's it. One seventy. Sorry about that. That's okay. There we go. Okay, got them two out. Okay. Now, hey, you took my bait off. Where's I did. Oh, right here, right here, kid. My bad. Right there. Do you hear me? What? 
No, you want this right against that, like that? No, I always leave it down. I don't want it up against anything. Yeah. Take you want back. a little bit. Yeah, because sometimes they'll bite well, and let go. Right. Right. They'll get to that and then let go. Yeah. So I thought. Like that? Skip. No, no, no. Right where it was at was okay. Oh. Yeah, I just, I didn't, I thought I you just want to take it to no, the No, no. Uh -uh. No, I didn't know where you was talking. My bad. I thought you said it shouldn't have been down that far. Like that. Skip. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I got you. <laughs> That's the way mine was. And then I counter was off. Okay. Probably slow back down. We're going way too fast. Now, watch yourself. Over counter didn't even count that time. Look, there's a tire. We've seen a tire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's everybody saying? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that, Tommy. Did Tommy ever say what was going on in uh, Rocky Fort? All kinds of chat going on now. You're supposed to follow your gut. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Uh, don't be above angry. Okay, I'm back. We ain't got no more fish. <laughs> we got a new area. We're trying. Hopefully I can stay out of the trees. I'm trying to catch up with Chad. Tournament this weekend, Rocky Fort, Midwest of High Catfishing. Hmm. I will be tied up this weekend. Slung the bait off. What an amateur. Yeah, 
You want bigger ones? Right. How much? More or less? Got her out there that time. Got her out there that time. Yes, sir. Yes, you do. Okay. We got baits bagging the water. We are on uh, our way. Come on. Are you hung up already? Yeah. No way. There, it's loose. It is loose. Good. Yeah, a lot of times just let that. Yeah, I know. Let that rod just let that. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. How much you got your long line out? 170. 170. Hang on, man. Let me make sure. No, her. Yeah, 160. 170. I'm gonna go 225. I think that's Rogers' okay. magic number. Okay. And if you hit one, I'm going 220. <laughs> Two or uh, yep. Didn't realize it, but Roger. Hey, what about your other pole there? Your oh yeah, that's, that's good. I still heard it going out. So I thought, well, maybe you forgot about it. At least you didn't well, feel about like I did. That wind is not near as bad up no. here. Look at there. There's a big, uh, big fish mark. Close, yeah. Close to the bottom. Yeah. Didn't see it on the side though. Come on now. There's 200. We're in about 921. That should be up in here. I've got another set of boards. I was thinking about maybe putting, putting this one on a board, but yeah. I don't know. We'll do the 225 long line. See. Yeah. See what happens. Let's see, let's see what happens. There it is. 225. Yeah. We are dragging. It's getting hot. Oh, yeah. There's no wind back here. No. Oh, I forgot I'm going to take mine back. Off. I think I'm going to let mine off for that. Yeah. It's hot. I mean, you ain't got to have them on. On. You just gotta have them. You just gotta, them. yeah, yeah. Gotta have them in. Yeah, it's just. But it's uh, best to wear them when. You know when that wind was kicking yeah. up. Uh, or been boot. a couple of accidents here the last yeah. couple of years. Very tragic. Yeah, you wouldn't want. I think it's just the direction, really, though. Mm -hmm. And you know, once it gets up in the twenties and thirties and stuff like that, I mean, this lake gets crazy. With that stick Understanding down. line out length and uh, what your bait does at different lengths out is super important when dragging. Yes, sir. Look what yes, sir, Brandon. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I'm hung up. Oh, it come loose. It loose. It come loose. They still ain't found her a place to go. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I'm wow. dead serious. <clears throat> yeah. No, one thing I'm noticing, I would have brought those tennis shoes with me. I had tennis shoes. Yeah. <clears throat> These boots are getting hot. It'd be nice to have them right now. I could take them off. Yeah. 
roll up my pants leg and be like John Boy. John Boy won't. Yeah. Getting her drag on, going about point, point four and a half, uh, or four point five to point five. Wouldn't mind going a little slow, really, but I don't know if we can. Let's see. Right. I'm gonna do is my remote. I'm only running on two. Try one and a half, see what it does. There's some people fishing out on the dock here at Hoover. I heard they was uh, going to tear that dock out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> they did have it all closed off. Said they wasn't going to rebuild it or anything. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like a big pier. Um, right. But there's a lot of people fish out. Yeah. It's, you know, really nice. Right there. Yeah. Really nice for bank anglers. Oh, yeah. The best people to pick their brain dragon is walleye fishermen. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking earlier about how, you know, the walleye guys, they'll, a lot of times they'll zigzag to see if they pick up on the faster side or the slower side. And we've even done that catfishing before. Um, a lot of times I'm talking to them. I know. Okay. I know. I know. Well, I didn't know if you them. knew that or not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm answering for him. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Uh-huh. He's, okay. he's answered for the chat. <laughs> That's good. That's good. We like everybody participating. <laughs> right? So we're an eight foot. I am marking fish. Not as much bait as when we first came in. And that might be what we do, too. Uh, you know, we'll go back here a little ways, make a turn, and we'll come out, and we'll just head right, right down this side of the way. You know? Yeah. They are supposed to restore that. Oh, okay. I want to turn it into a bike trail. Well, what do you know? I I thought we or heard that it they were going to tear it out. That's good. Or that they wasn't going to restore it. Or is what I heard. I thought. So I guess they are going to restore it. They're going to oh, yeah. end up making a bike trail out of it. Is that what it is? Yep. That's good. Yeah. People still probably be able to fish off of it too. That'd be, uh, be nice. That'd be an awesome bike ride. Ride right across the water. Yeah. Oh, you ain't kidding. I could get into that. Yeah. But I don't think I'd put my bicycle in the bed of the truck and bring it clear up here just for a bike just ride. Just for that. Just ride across the bridge. Yeah. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Not when I could bring the boat and go fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Unless my wife wanted to, then I would. Uh, I would load up. Uh, I would load up both bikes. Yeah. And we would be on it. She could take pictures. She loves to take pictures. And, I mean, I am marking fish, look, within about three yeah. foot up off the bottom. Yeah. Big marks. Well, I mean, carp. I don't know. Don't know. That's what I'm saying. It could be carp. It could be a catfish. You know, I'm not getting that. Yeah. 
clear of the picture. Is. Yeah. Could be this big blue that I'm going to That'd be about. awesome, Roger, if they are. Awesome. Believe it or not, I caught probably a 25-pound carp over the spillway on cut bait. Huh. Caught a 20, he yeah. caught a 25-pound carp on cut bait yep. over the spillway. I thought it had me a good channel. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a fight, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was. Until I seen what it was. Come on, cats. Okay, I changed my uh, took my range out to about 150 feet on each side. See if I can see anything. This thing, I'm not really marking as that much on the side like I have been. That stinks. What's not a clear view? The 150. I had it on 70. I was getting a better picture. It's like there's no no real structure up here or anything. Mm -mm. Well, there's no log to dig it's snagged on. <laughs> no. There is some bait over the, to the right of us. It's like turn around on them, so oh, yeah. No, I thought I thought we'd be up here and hit one, but now, yeah, you know, yeah, it looks like there's fish up here, yeah, right on the right next to the bottom, yeah. Come on, boys.
Look, there was a fish right underneath us. Oh, yeah. Look here. See uh -huh. that when it makes that line like that? Yeah. That fish was right under us. <laughs> it's just going along like that. See that big mark? Yeah. So it's like staying with us. Right. Or the fish just swimming along underneath the boat like that. Dip that his ass. <laughs> I meant when you said you couldn't tell what kind of fish it wasn't a clear view. So, yeah, that was funny. Sorry, you know me. Did you try uh, real shallow water when you was here, Roger? I know you said you was marking everything in like 15 feet. But did you try any shallow water? I really thought that the bait, the, a lot more bait would be up in here yeah. because of the way the wind blowing off. Right. Blowing the plankton up here. Yep. Fifteen people. Fifteen oh, yeah. people hanging with us. All yeah. we've been averaging thirteen to seventeen, I think. Yeah. And he catch some fish for him. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could catch some fish for him. Hey, hey, hey! You got one. Got one. <laughs> got one down. I just have to look over it. <laughs> Watch this line right here. Oh, this one. Yep. Okay. Finally, fish on. He's got a little tug. Go get over here, Steve. Coming at me. Yeah. I think that one's okay that too. That's okay now. And yeah.
keep going. Like he'll pull away and then he'll tighten up. Oh man, don't do that. Come one. on. Uh, Come yeah. on. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. It's too late. Too late. Yeah, it's too late. He, he had to get in one of them. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to need a net. He's not as big as a 20, but he, he's trying to be. He's, he's trying to be, yeah. I think he might be a teener. I think he got a mess. Yeah, got another mess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you deal with that right now. Unhook him, I'll get him out of your way. What do you say? Grab it, yeah. That's how I have it. Yeah. Easiest way. Maybe you're gonna have to quit this stuff. What's that? Catch a fish? Yeah. <laughs> There's the mud. He's got some mud on him. <laughs> Go and get that net. Why you what you could put this right here as long as I don't hook it. Yeah, I'm gonna get the right. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and get a weight on him. Okay, go ahead. Oops. Oh, he wants to be a teener so bad. So, so bad. Almost 12, what? Yeah, 12. 12 pounds. 12, yeah. He didn't quite make teen. No. Nope. Yeah, well, we're happy. He wasn't no teenager. Was he was it? in shallow water, seven foot of water. Okay. Seven foot of water. Yeah. Hey. There he goes, First folks. action. First action we've had for a minute. Yeah. We're going to let him go and let him grow. That's a reward for you guys staying with us. <laughs> yeah. Finally got a fish. Yeah. That's number eight. I'm falling behind. I'm yep. Fully fall behind. All right. Now I got to get rid of this mess. Yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll catch up with him while he's getting that undone. There you go. <laughs> I won't take you too long. Hey, Skip. Yeah. You know what? What? Those three that's in there, they're still good and live. Yeah. I'm going to throw them back. You are? Yeah. How come? I'll, I'll get some. All right. You know. Okay. Let these grow up and catch them more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As long as they're still alive. Now, if one's not alive, He's still alive. See? Mm -hmm. Floyd decided to release his fish. He yeah. wasn't going to take him home and eat him. Hey. He'll catch some there at the spillway. Yeah. Well, I got to thinking about it. I got that rental. I ain't got nothing to take him home in, you know. So. Yeah, he's got a rental car, so they don't really have nothing to take him yeah. home in. We'll be good. Really light collared. We'll oh, good. the fish was light collared, yeah. 
I went up into the creek. No luck. Okay. Okay. Come on. You want to use that bait? Your your new bait. That bait's not that old. No, I probably just okay. Yeah, long just smash it. Long as it's fresh, or you know. Yeah. If uh, I was hoping this guy would go back out, it's like he got caught on my swim platform. Oh, did it? I can get down and get it because I got that other thing unranked. What's that? Uh, there, I got it. Oh, there you go. I got it. Or you got it. You get your other one untangled. I got part of it untangled. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's still tangled. Well, you might as well get that one back out now. now this one's still good, I think. Yeah. Once I. Uh, and I didn't reel that here. pole. Hey, your long pole, I didn't reel it in. Yeah, I know. No. Maybe very little. Oh, how did that? We well, yeah. It was almost a catastrophe. Oh, somehow had got, not. Somehow got a loop in it. Huh? Yeah. Not know how that happened. Yeah. There. There we go. There you go. Not turning the right way. There you go. Turning left. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you've turned left more than I know what you wanted to. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. That's good. Very right near about where you was. This what it is. I need to speed up a little. Yeah. Well, hey, that wasn't too bad. I better save that. Yeah. He's got you all little action. Yeah. Pitcher thing on that. Now we're freezing up, ain't we? Yeah. What is that on there? Is that like tree or something? I don't know. Looks like. There it goes. Thank you, baby. You're my biggest fan. That's my catfish honey right there. <laughs> Eclipse has started. 210. I don't want to look. Oh, I see it. <laughs> it just barely. Here, look. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> it's about just about a tenth of it. Just barely starting on, in on, on the thing. Yeah. Maybe oh, that's what maybe. them big ones are waiting on. What's that? That clip? Yeah. Yeah, the big ones are waiting on the clips. That's what yeah, it is. See, it started. Is. It's about to happen. Yeah. Things are about to get chaotic. That one there was a pretty decent one. Well, he weighed. He was 12. 12. 12 pounds. Yeah. I mean, other than that 21 and a half, that's probably the biggest one. One of them. You know that? Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. I didn't have a feed spade on this one. This is on the porch. Which, oh, okay, net's okay. Can you throw that one? That was on Pinky in the Shad, wasn't it? Yeah. Pinky in the Shad head. Clips has begun. Okay, back in business. Afraid to run those boards out because of all that over there. See that? Yeah. The big old tree coming in the water yeah, over there. Yeah. Yeah. Still got 13 awesome people. I was hoping we could just swing right around this here, but that looks like a. We won't want to drag on top of that, right? Yeah. Do we? So I might right. start making my turn. Yeah, you are. I'd be able to clear that. Yeah. I was really hoping to go. I wonder if we could go on the other side of it. I don't know. It's like what his name said, not to be afraid to anchor up in that shallow water. Yeah. That's something I was thinking about. We're only in five foot of water now. Yeah. We're starting to get some uh, trash too, some debris. Yeah. But it seems like that's what we've been catching most of our fish off of today is stuff in the water we, we mark, you know, uh, logs and yeah. sticks and trees. Yeah. Then next thing you know, we get a bite once yeah. the lines go over. I just don't know how deep it is on the other side of that and stuff. Right. But I guess there's one way to find out, right? Yeah. Just go for it. Hey, it's actually getting deeper back here. Just drop down almost two feet right there. Really? I like that. Once it drag in baits off of that. That could be something. Just never know. Yeah. Hey, I'm just for the ride. You're long for the ride? Yeah. I'm long for the ride. Man. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, now we're back in nine foot of water. We're just in five. What, three minutes ago? The only fish I caught Saturday was on anchor over by one of those islands. Oh, you did end up catching some, Roger? I didn't, I didn't know you caught it. Well, 
Well, I just looked back on the tournament and, and seen that you probably stayed out later, didn't you? There's a good mark. There's a good fish mark on all three screens. I like that. See? Bam, bam, bam. Really wouldn't have let these out. Believe it was a gar. Yeah. I do the tail of it, you know. Yeah. Start to mark a lot, a lot of fish again, though. Hopefully ain't all gar. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try to make a sweep here. Just going to turn a little bit at a time. We got in. We got the navigation. 20 minutes of a turn. We got it in the last 20 minutes of a turn. Okay. What is it? Uh, Roger in that tournament. Oh. There Saturday night. He was on one of the online tournaments and they were up here. Oh, Cut yeah. one 20 minutes before the tournament was on. I have got him. Oh, okay. There was other people sure catching him in other parts of the United States. That's pretty cool those online tournaments because there'll be people from all different states. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's fun. I know. I don't know what the heck that is. Nothing messing around with you. Dang. I don't know. Mine's doing that too. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I thought it was. But... Might be what those long marks underneath us, following us underneath are. Yeah. Gar. Good news. We found the gar hole. Yeah. Oh, the other guy never got a bite up here. I didn't know there was. Who was it that was up here with you or fishing against you, Roger? Yeah, we're getting into some trash now. This might have been a bad deal. I don't know if you want to go around that. Oh, that log back there. Yeah. Do you want to go around it or? I'm hoping we can go right up around it like that. Yeah. That's what I'd like to do. In between the Really breeze. sweep this, uh, this shallow water. Yeah. I don't know if it's possible. Right. Well, guess what? I know we'll find out. I know there's a lot of debris starting to show up. Yeah. Which could mean hangups. Yeah. I hear a boat. Yeah, I do too. Sounded like he had more than a 10 horse on it. <laughs> Sounded like he was scooping. Uh, yeah, nope. definitely. It came loose. Yeah. See, really, a lot of times that's why I like using the softer rods because they tend to they yeah. just bend over and then boom, it'll pop loose. 
you know, boom, it pop loose. Mm-hmm. We kind of started out with the medium heavy rods because I thought we was going to anchor up first. Yeah. Northern View Outdoors, huh? The guy, the guys fishing Sandusky Bay won that night. Awesome. What was their names? Uh, I think I know who you're talking about because they was ca- yeah they was catching channels all night long. Talk about a fun time when you get on in them on there. Yeah. Yeah. Other boat. Man, the boats are flocking in up here now. Three boats up here. I'm using homemade uh, right now, Roger. I haven't got mine yet. These are like bass boats, too. You know what? Yeah. It's had like three bass boats come. Well, I'm telling you what, they got their big here. motors on. That one looks like he does, don't I it? I guarantee he does. It, even, it looks like it and sounds like it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Well, look behind him. He ain't got no kicker on. It could be. It could be on, a, it could be on the other side of it. It could be. But remember that boat that we heard out there? Yeah. That's, I'm telling you, that's probably him. Yeah. Oh boy, I got on that. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even see it for just now. Hey, don't look. Yeah. We got one. Yeah. There you go. That's where we're making that turn. Probably turn a little sharp. Yeah. We're going right up into that other creek. Okay, I bet you're going to. Crappie. Crappie. Yeah. That's what I was bad. We're about five foot of water. Not marking the fish like I was. No. You got another pole that there it is. He gave loose. That was your long pole. There was a lot of tragedy coming. See, at the creek, yeah. the creek right there. One time, me and Roger went up in there. That thing was just a flowing. Current was coming out of it. We ain't spot locked in that thing. I don't know how many fish we caught. It was insane. They wasn't, you know, no monsters. Yeah. But man, we had a blast for about I don't know hour maybe, and then it just yeah. it just stopped. Yeah. Because the water started flowing down, and yeah. it was like perfect timing. Yeah. That was that was a fun day. I had that own uh video too, but my uh, hard drive crashed, lost it all. Oh. Oh. I think he was live that day though. I think it's on one of his lives. Yeah. Oh wow, there's somebody over in the wilderness.
somebody over there in the woods making sure we're only using six rods. Probably. That's what they do up at Mommy, isn't it? Yeah. They got it. They got us on video and everything. And pictures, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They turn a little sharp there. Yeah, it's okay. Trying to get the level out here. Yeah. For the most part, we have been catching them around the point, anywhere from point four to point five. Mm -hmm. So maybe we ain't going fast enough. There's times here that yeah. we've caught them at point seven. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. What a spillway! I like not when it's real slow, but with some current. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It seems like they'll just. See it and grab it, you know. Now we're starting to mark some stuff again. I'll lay it back down. One, two. Yeah, went out there, it's pretty much stopped. Isn't it? Yeah. That's okay. I'll let it back down once we make the turn. Are too long. Are too long. Yeah. Oh. Hey, it's still out there on bottom. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm way out of turn now. Looks like it's. Uh... That's it. That's right, ain't it? Yeah. Probably where we're making the turn and yeah. the line. Look, yeah. there's another boat coming. Oh, that's them catfish guys again. Yeah. That's that red boat. Yeah, that's that other boat. I've seen them. But those other two that came in, they just got here. No, I haven't. I was just talking about that, Roger. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up over the point five for a little bit here and see, see what happens. Probably be about 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and a half. Oh, there's six, 0 0.6. We'll just go with that for a little bit. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, it just kind of keeps bouncing back and forth. There, now some. Oh my, we dropped down to five people. That's our first time since more. after a build up down to five people. Everybody's going to watch the clip oh, the clips. Okay. Yeah. Let me see black. See how much. Uh, almost half. Almost half? Yeah. Wow. Look at it. It's gonna get dark on us here in a few. You hung up in something. No. It's just the way it's looking. Yeah. Well, maybe we head back that way and head out 
Yeah, that's what I said. You know what I mean? And maybe well, they're laying out there. You know. That's all we knew. Yeah. Just keep trying. Hey, we're starting to march some bait again. Yeah. We're about 0.6 now, Roger. So we'll try that for a little bit. See if we can stir up some mud. Yeah. Oh. The eclipse about half over. Halfway into it. You look at it. It wasn't quite halfway. No. Good skip, man. Hoping I get close enough to that red boat, Rodder, to see what kind of rods he's got. Did you ever say who, who he might be if he had orange rods? I'm not so sure if they're orange. Oh, Sterling, is that who you was talking about earlier with Sterling? Cat runs orange rods. I thought he ran white uh, big cat fevers. It's like they're headed up into that creek, too. Or either they're going to turn around right there like they did last time and drag out. Yeah, it looks like they might be green rods. I'm not so sure that's a red tracker, though. Right. Might be a uh, Lund. Hey, we're back up to 10. Man, just like that. Maybe they've seen enough of you. They're definitely not orange rods. I think they're green rods. Oh, yeah, he's green. get he's getting ready to anchor. Look, he's he's going to use those shallow shallow water anchors. It's definitely not sterling because uh, he's not tall enough, for one thing, or skinny enough. Sterling's, right. sterling's a, a real tall, skinny guy. No idea. Yeah. yeah, it looks like he's getting ready to shallow water anchor. Which I've heard of guys doing it, they're getting this shallow stuff for them blues, and they won't even put a sinker on it. They just lob baits out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we had to pick, pick some up through there, you know? Yeah. I might have been tempted to. Tempted to do that. Yeah. But if we ain't picked none up, then what yep, we're doing. Yep, that's what he's doing. He is, uh, 
Anchor. Anchor. He's shallow water anchor. Dad, go on. How many has he got? Oh, he's just putting a nut on one. He's put like three sections together. <laughs> I bet it's soft up here. It's mud, nothing but mud. Could be. Probably four foot of it goes down to mud. You know? I have two 16, two 12 inch uh, concrete blocks. <laughs> I got two anchors. Yeah. yeah. But no, that's what I used to use. <laughs> There's hardly no wind now up here. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. If I can clear up boo or not. I think you're good. I was watching it too. I think you're good. That brought it over back over some. If it comes unhung. Yeah. There it goes. There it goes back. I think you're fine. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to mess, maybe. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Good. That is a Lund. It's a red Lund. Is it? It's a red Lund with green rods, I believe. Green or yellow. That yeah, looks like he's got an assortment, but it's definitely got a couple of bright ones on there. Oh, wow. There's Is that the other red one? Over there? Is that the one that went to the bank that first, that first came in? Yeah, I don't know. Because remember, we thought they went on up in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. There's some massive structure right there. Look. Looks like a big, mm. sharp rock. Mm. Middle one's home. Come on, baby. Come on. Come off there. There you go. go. <laughs> See how that works. Oh, wow. Looks like there's a big pontoon out there. Oh, yeah. Just drifting. <laughs> Sideways. Yeah. Well, we got 12 people in here, but nobody's chatting. Where's all you chatters at? That other one's like a bass boat type deal. What are those? Those are green rods, ain't they? Yeah. I guess Green, they got, I don't know if that's like orange or what that is. Yeah. Up towards the middle. That's probably his bobbers. Oh, uh, yeah. His dragon bobbers. Yeah. I like that shallow water, those anchors, though. Looks like he's got his daughter with him or something kid it's got a kid okay we're moving out some deeper water there's shadow over on your side or bait on your side popping up no one needs it yet well we're gonna say it too early but we haven't had a good hit that we lost one no you know it's true 
beep, beep. He's got a pretty nice setup, though. Ones are nice boats. Yeah. Expansive though. Yeah, they are. My buddy had a twenty or twenty-one foot one that we went up to New York with. Yeah. And went up in the what they call the hole for salmon. The green one. It's it's something. Hung up. Come on. Yep. There we go. Yeah. She come loose. Yeah, winds. We're going back. We're finding some wind again now. Yeah. We got past that point. Or you know what I mean? Yep. The way the wind was coming. Wolven, Wolves Den. How you doing? Wolves Den Outdoors. How are you? Wind actually slows us down. Slows us down. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Becca. Uh, I heard that you're really not even supposed to look at it with, or you know, you can still damage your eyes looking at it with the glasses, but. Yep, it's halfway now. I ain't looking at it very long. Yeah. Hey, Paul, that is, that's me. That's, I can't say it. Edison. Ed, Edison. Edison. Sorry, oh, sir. Sorry, Paul. I ain't seen you. Coon's age. You fishing that uh, tournament on Rocky this weekend, Paul? I think Tommy was in here saying there was a tournament there this weekend. Hey, we're back in 11 foot of water. Marking fish, marking bait. Okay, so my shallow water uh, theory. Theory. It, it did work yeah, right yeah, off the bat. Put we caught one. a 12-pounder. So, yeah. So at least we caught a 12-pounder. So there was at least one up here. Yeah. I was hoping for some more. but So we're going to just drag them back out of here, back into the main lake. See what happens. it going. Come on, pop off. Pop off. You think we ought to put the, you think we ought to put the top up? The bimini? Huh? The bimini top? You we'll think see. we ought to put it up? What is it? The bimini top. Oh, that's up to you.
Did I have to move? We're coming in some trash or something that's other than something new. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like yours will never come loose. <laughs> come on. Now, actually, it's several years ago. Oh, oh, I've seen it. Yep. No, it's taking drag. That's what it is. Yeah. Right here. There it is. There it is. Is it still good? It should be. Oh, it didn't rain. Don't think so. No, the thing day clips. Maybe not. The cliff. Yeah, the cliff. It come off. I can feel it drag it. Yeah. See it's what really, I mean? It's really it's like you're out of the Yeah. Right well, look out there to your right. Right yeah. at that pole. Might, that might be connected to all that other stuff. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was hung up. Now that mirror's taking the ride. Uh, here, let me work on this. You work on this. I'll see what this is. <laughs> and this thing was happening. There it is. It came on. Yeah. Huh? It must have a little bit of time. Yeah, it does. Who wants you to get it out? I don't know if I still got the bag on this or not. It's still here. Yeah, you, you uh, once it gets out to a certain point, it, it's good. It's just got about 20 yards too much on it. Is what it is. Well, it's still got bait. Yeah. Okay, just a second. Yeah. Low line was trying to hang it. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of trash down there. Hey, my screen came back. I can see you real nice, nice and brightly again. Yeah, I wish she was fish. I wish she could be fishing too. Hello? Looks in the hammock. You say Chris. Telly. For do what now? Huh? I'm no, I'm off Wednesday. No, I'm off tomorrow, too. No, my wife's in the hospital. Yes. And I'm t I took six hours. I cut, I caught off. I, I was already off at noon, so I just said I'll just take the other 12 hours on sick leave. All right. Yes. Yes. Oh, there's a nice mark. Okay, buddy. That looks like, uh -huh. that looks uh -huh. like a little fat fish. What's that? Just seen a nice mark. What's going on? Uh, I think that's when the air came off, too. Yeah. Off the clip. It did. Look how far it is out. Yeah. See what? I'm going to take this one since it's already got bait. Yep, it's already got bait. Out. Go ahead. Get this one. Oh, cast one. Huh? Okay. Keep her on in. Yeah, I am. There it comes up here. I don't know if you're feet out or not, but I'd say you're close. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it and go. There's, there's another one. There's another one. Yeah. Hold on a second. Get, reel that in. get that in before this one catches up. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually. Yeah, there's a red shot. 
<laughs> he does have orange rods. That's the one. That, yeah. That was that one earlier. That's the one Roger's talking about. Oh, yeah. He never did say who it is, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a shame you think you are. You might have to bring it up around. Yeah, I will. Well, the bait's up to it. You hear me? Yeah. But yeah, I will. Well, He's probably going to go back there and anchor up, too. That's what we maybe should have known. Yeah. Man, there's boats everywhere now. There's some high traffic out here. Okay, we're back in 10 foot of water. We are marking stuff. If we got out of the really bad snags. Oh, look, he's got one of the shallow water anchors. You build on, you know, the talon, they call them. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Oh, he's live scoping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's probably fishing for crappie, I bet. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. He's live scoping. I don't know. <laughs> We're passing over some more debris on your side. Uh-huh. Some more de- debris, debris and stuff. Oh, yeah, drag me all through it. Yeah, <laughs> start marking a lot of bait now, though. Yeah. Or crappie. Might be crappie. Might be crappie, too. Oh, it looks like it's getting real hazy out now. Uh-huh. Bet that's uh, about three quarters away yeah. now. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Set yep. Up. Actually, there's probably less than three quarter left. Come on, come on, break loose. Come on. There, there you go. There you go. That's all I need. That's all I need. No, I need one to take it down. <laughs> yeah. We need some fish activity. Yeah. It's getting darker, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, there we, there's another. Hey. It's almost 3 o'clock. Another piece. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Break loose. Let go. Let go. Quiet There you there go. There. We're talking to our lines. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, Roger. Live script's not just for crappie anymore. I have a feeling this guy is not a bass fisherman. He is not using a crop or a or a catfish. He's not using a it's catfishing a rod. Ready. That uh, red tracker did come up in here, Roger, and it has orange rods. Who is that? Come on, break loose. Come on. Oh, man, there's all kinds of trash down there. Come on. Huh? There he is. What if I should check? It wouldn't hurt. Better to know that there's bait out there dragging than than bringing it in none. I'm not sure who it is. I have a name over there. Saturday night. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't get close enough to see who it is. He's got like a little white kicker. It's all red and black boat, and then he's got that little white kicker. No, I still got bait on. That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing. Make sure it's bleeding. If not, freshen it up. Yep. Wow. See that smoke over there? One at somebody's house over there, and they got smoke coming up. I just heard a big kapow. Like something blew up in a fire. Throw down over here. Skip over here. No, in between. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, my GoPro. Oh, no. Oh. I did. There went my GoPro, mate. How did that happen? Just caught it. <laughs> oh. It's gone. Yeah. 
and everything else. I still got scored. <laughs> no, I mean what? The footage and everything. Oh yeah, all the footage, yeah. That's gone. Yeah. How did I had that over here? How the I don't know. it happens. Yeah. I kind of seen you come close to it a couple times. I should have. I should have moved it. Mark that spot. <laughs> nice. We'd never find that no. thing. Shame it wasn't in five feet of water. Cash net hurry? <laughs> I don't think no. so. <laughs> That pitch some degrees is kind of cold. What it was when you said over that way, I didn't, I didn't look back the second time. Yeah. Cause here I'll get and get this out of the way. Actually, it's not in the way. Couldn't have a floating device on it. Yeah, I should have had one, really. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Waypoint. Ca oh, cast net. That's, it's too late now. Yeah, I, mean, I never thought about that. We could have tried to cast net. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. My son lost two of them in the water. In the same place. <laughs> he lost one and then he uh, he tied the other one onto a string trying to find it. <clears throat> come, come off the string. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. Great. <laughs> it was about 30 foot of water though. Drop wave foot. Light scope it. Ah. I never thought about casting that either. Probably just sunk right in the mud, Roger. Yeah. Oh wow, he's got he's got those paddles on his on the see that? Yeah. Those big paddles. So instead of using a drift sock, he just lowers that. Oh, loads. lowers that and that. Yeah. I got you. Creates resistance. Temp is dropping. Mm-hmm. 73. Is that sun's going now? Water's up to 56. It was 51, 4 when we got here. Yep. Of course, we're back here in the shallow, too. Yeah. That's another reason I thought, I thought for sure, you know. Turn them on back here. Right. Turn the bait on, turn everything on. Your magnet that went on it and everything. Yeah, yeah, the whole setup. Yeah. So I have it on the magnet today. Right. Let me see my glasses. Oh, yeah, it's off. probably, uh, yeah, it looks probably almost full in it. Nope, there's still just a little bit. Teeny little bit. Yep. I don't want to lose them. Those are expensive. Yeah, the GoPro 8 ain't as much as what I paid for. I can't 
yeah. you know, when I first bought it. Yeah. It was good. Start going down. Yep, it's getting darker out, folks. Uh, Ellen says, say hi to mom and tell her her and I are watching. Tell dad to say hi to mom. Say hi to mom. Oh. What? <laughs> hi, babe. Hi, Ellen. <laughs> Plus, I had the, the side door on that thing, so it would have got all, it's all wet, you know. Um, See, if you got the original door, they don't, you can put them underwater. Right. But I always run direct power on that one, you know. Oh. So it catches that looping. Yeah. 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 It's takedowns and stuff. Yeah, it's getting dark. Yeah, it is. We're not going to make it in before dark. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like it's getting morning again here. Or, you know, yeah. after four minutes. I think it's supposed to last for like four minutes of darkness or something. Yeah. Flash worked on uh, this. Huh. <laughs> so you can't look. Oh, you took a picture of it? Yeah. And the flash worked when you took a picture? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's weird, ain't it? How it's, it's like you can feel it. You can feel the darkness coming in. Yeah. Oh, I got a big old hang up. Oh, she come loose. Here it goes. See if the fish will bite. Next four minutes going to be chaotic. All rods are going down. <laughs> Look over here. Uh, for, uh, huh? How dark it looks. Yeah. Pretty wild. <laughs> That's crazy. Look over there behind us. It's like like a big storm rolling in. Yeah, I know. It does.
Look, that boat's got its lights on. We probably ought to turn our navigation lights on. <laughs> You've seen glasses. Can't see nothing. Because it's covered. It's covered. Look at it. Oh, you can. There's one bright, but yeah, it's it. you can't even see it through the glasses now. No, that's crazy. That's what I mean. Here, you can probably take a picture of it now. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. But it, it's just still, it's still just look at it. Well, you can see the ring around it. See what I mean? Yeah. If you uh, if you would hold that up there and then tap on it, tap yeah. on the sun, it may take a better picture. Yeah. Let's do portrait. Mm -hmm. You can see the moon yeah. covering it. Peace flopping. Yeah. You know what the peace going to think, don't you? Man, that was a quick night. Which one? Oh, my outer one. Come on, pop off. There it is. Yep. Oh, look. Look at that shadow. Oh. Where's the fish, though? Yeah. Right there. You don't think oh. that's... That's like a log. Or yeah, that um, almost looks like a log. That's a hondo. Hey, it's starting to brighten back out now. Yeah. I don't even think that lasted four minutes, did it? Huh. I'm signed up again. <laughs> Come on. Pop Chris off. just watched the uh, eclipse. Is. Now he's back to work. Thing uh, get you every time on it. Yeah. We're starting to mark a lot of stuff now. Baits, baits aren't even there. Yeah, there's a lot of, I think there's some rocky stuff yeah. here. Yeah. Look this Fireworks pole. are going off. Look this other pole. See it? Uh huh. Back at eight foot of water. Oh, that's what Roger meant by a temperature dropping. It felt cooler, but it's still saying it's 73. Yeah. But it does definitely feel cool. Oh, yeah. Probably going to be really hot. Mm -hmm. In a minute.
damage. One more. Just one more. One more. One more. There we go. Pretty neat experience, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, they look weird as that. Only happen ever so often, right? Yeah. It ain't happened too many times in our lifetime. Nope. If it did, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's what these catch a crop at, is seeing you catch one. Yeah. Ten, ten point eight, almost eleven foot. We're still not out the eight foot back there, probably. No. I don't help it. Yeah, there's a good fish. Look. Mm -hmm. You can see the shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on. We still have 15 awesome people with us. Is anybody else live today? Fireworks going off in the background. Well, we went all the way up through there and around. Wanted to catch one. Yeah. One right off the bat there. Huh? One right off the bat there. Yeah. Got a lot of debris coming up on your side. Look. All that right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully you the know. fish are laying in it. Yeah. We got some more of those fish swimming underneath us, too. No, yeah. Getting darker out here. Yep. It's getting light again here, Roger. I don't know if my. Uh, my chat is lagging or well did you at least not your toys present did well did you at least not your GoPro back? I don't know what he's saying there. It's probably talk texting. <laughs> he said I was in the store. I may have missed a blackout. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. It's on the other side of the moon now. What well, I'm saying, the moon's got the other partially covered, probably. Nope. If you're asking if we got the GoPro back, no. We didn't even go try. No.
it's got the side I had the side door on it open so it's probably toast anyway I had direct power to it and I can't believe we're not catching any fish mm -hmm. Had a good morning though. Yeah. Good start. Yeah. That wind ain't nothing like they said it was gonna be either. No. Uh -uh. Okay, now we're in almost in twelve foot. I heard that on that pontoon and said, I just got another one. Crappie. Probably crappie too. Crappy. Crappy. Man, it looks like they got a whole uh, whole bunch of people on that. What is it? On that uh, pontoon. Oh, yeah. Those fish are thinking right now. And that was a short night. <laughs> Yeah, that makes it tough, Roger. Said he would love to crap, crap crappie fish up here, but it's hard whenever you know yeah. there's fifty pound blue and yeah. seventy pound flathead. Yeah. There's a lot of people out cra crappie fishing today. Yeah. We're probably on. I sat up there for four hours today without a bite off the bank. Where was you at, Dale? Was you at Red Bank or, uh, or Oxbow? Because I seen a guy this morning at Oxbow setting up. Don't tell me that was you and you didn't say hi. <laughs> Another pontoon. Well, pontoons are breaking out. Yeah. 12 feet. probably see my red truck though right the, we might have been out before you got here Turn. <laughs> it was my turn last two turns. <laughs> well, I thought that's what we used to do. Whenever we had six, you know, you could only earn two, two yeah. rods apiece, and we'd have like three of us. Yeah. We would just take turns. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like his first one. And I can't believe he's even hitting that right Yeah, I know. I mean, look at that. Where are we? 12 stuff. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of bait. You using your kicker motor up there? Yep, I'm using it, uh, Stonefly. I'm kind of disappointed in the... Uh, I talked to several, I talked to three different guys from three different boat shops about, you know, what prop I needed, explain to them what was going on and everything. Cause it came with a four blade, seven pitch. And they all told me, or one told me a nine, the other one told me a 10, the other one said a nine or a 10. So I got the 10 and I lost RPM. I was getting 46 thousand rpm now i'm only getting thirty six thousand rpm and it's going the same speed and a three three blade went to a three blade so i don't know if i should have just stayed at the same pitch and went to a three blade or what but it's a hundred dollar prop that's what sucks to buy another one you know i don't know if i can i know they probably won't take it back Fish mark. Uh -huh. Big fish mark. Yeah. Oh, Yeah, if I'd have thought about it quick enough, I could have stopped the boat. And yeah. Yeah, if you could have kept your eye right on where yeah. it went. And right. Then might have got might. it and got it with the cast net. Hey, I was out. in five and a half foot of water. I was in water up to here. Went like this. Brand new pair of glasses fell off. And I went to catch them, flipped them. Thunk. I just told, told God. Back up, back up. I start taking everything off. This in summertime. Dude, I got right that spot and I went in. I was up the water up to here and I'm filling with my feet and found it. <laughs> I just paid like $350, $400 for them glasses. Mm. Yeah. I'm happy with mine getting up to six. Don't have clue RPM, but that's not full throttle either. Yeah, I'm at full throttle and only getting 36,000 RPM. It's supposed to get like 55. Thirteen foot. Come on, fish. Marking fish everywhere. But no, just every now and then we'll mark a big one. Most of them are yeah. small.
Okay, kind of a nice one. There you go. I wonder if he's using uh, just a jig or not. Hey. Wasn't big enough. He threw it back, didn't he? Yeah. I Wasn't big I, enough. I figured it was a keeper. Yeah. I don't know what size limit is. It's probably got a size limit here. Probably nine, nine inches. There we go. Uh, I don't know if they have a certain size limit yeah. on here and on this lake, you know, or yeah, or if it's just I know they do the rest Paint of the state. Creek. We'd have to look it up. The creek, Paint Creek Lake, is nine. Spillway, I've seen them keep them seven, six. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I still keep stringers channels that long. <laughs> why? And I mean, put it through their gills, they ain't going to turn them loose. Yeah. You know? Sit down. Hardly any. I'm glad I moved my phone down. I thought that's what it was at first. Oh, that bird right there, see, see how he's got bronze wings? His wings are bronze. That's the same bird that was with Peyton's bird when she killed her bird. She killed the one, the more black one, and one, the bigger bird was a black one, but there was a bronze tip wings his whole, you know, back part of his wings was bronze. And then when I seen the other bird, I said, oh, no, no, the second bird, that black bird, you know. And that's one she shot because it's a bigger bird. That bird there is three years old. I can tell you how old he is. So that was two years ago, and that's the only bronze wing bird that I've seen down there. They just ain't doing nothing right now. Nope. Hey, I got some peanut M&Ms in there, too. Mm -hmm. Tasting kind of good. Uh -huh. It's like a little candy bar. But yeah. Fourteen feet.
Come on, fish. 14 feet. Did I already say that? Turn my navigation lights back off. We could motor up. Go to those islands I was telling you about. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we usually do good. Yeah. Or, you know, we've done good there before. Yeah. I'm good with anything. I thought we'd actually get out here in a little bit deeper water yeah. 14 and, and do some good. You know what I mean? I actually thought that we would. We can go up there and try. I don't think we're missing anything here right now. Nope. You know? I don't either. I fear we'd hit two or three from here to that bank. I don't know who all's left in here. There's only like four. Um, we're going to make a move. Let's see if we can find something different.
nail for that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, here, there. <laughs> Hang the butt. What? That will dry out a little bit. Yeah. Dry out before you put them up. Yeah, sometimes I just hang them up in the garage. Well, yeah. They're too wet. Yeah. All right. I probably won't stay back here with the motor. Oh, yeah. Do like I did before. Oh, yeah. I'm going to use troll motors too. Yeah. Seven. Or no, we got eight. eight. We got eight. Got one more 12 pounder up there in the shallows. And we drug out of the shallows into about 15 foot. Nothing. Marking stuff everywhere. There's so much bait everywhere. It's insane. Look at that. That bait. Oh, no Yeah. So we're gonna try a spot I've always had to get luck at. Then we'll probably call it a day. Yeah. Seen a guy back there using uh, shallow water anchors, Zach. It looked pretty cool. He got them locked in place. It looked like he wasn't going nowhere. He had about three sections, looked like probably three, four foot sections. Uh, like about four of it went right down to mud.
these last three days really been tough to catch. Much for me. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like it was a hard weekend for everybody up here. Now we're not hardly marking any bait. Look, we're 17 feet. Oh, yeah. And, you know, it's really scattered now. Yeah. It was heavy back there. Oh, yeah. yeah. What was shallowest water you fish today? I usually catch six to eight foot of water this time. Yeah, see, that's what I was trying, Dale, but uh, most of our fish came um, uh, we didn't catch one up there in about eight foot of water, but most of them came in about, what, 12 foot? Probably about 12 foot. But we came back through some 12 foot coming out of the eight, or where it was really, we went up into about five foot It did a good. We drug all the way out of there. We was in uh, that eight to ten foot, you know, for quite a while. Well, six to eight even coming out of there. And we were uh, getting hung up quite a bit, you know, but then was coming loose. So we was in, in the trash. Everything that we caught had mud all over it. Every fish. Pretty heavy, but. The wind is not near as bad as they were calling for. Uh, it's not hardly blowing. It seemed like we worked most of our bigger fish in that 12 to 15 foot range. The biggest fish was caught in about 12 foot. Up. We're down to, we're actually at 19 feet now. Just mark some fish along the bottom. Hope the noise isn't too bad from the kicker motor. We marked uh, several nice big fish down there on the bottom. Biggest fish today were about a 10, a 12. All the rest were probably five, six pounders. The body I had one in there was even smaller than that.
yeah, that uh, in between these two islands there, it's, it's like a pitch point, you know. You know, and it's like every time I've ever drove through there, I've got at least something. And it's been a few times, you know, really got some nice ones. So it's safe to say that the eclipse had zero effect on the fish. Well, they all bit before the eclipse. We haven't caught any after. I don't know if that would uh, affect or not, be an effect or not. I guess we'll try this, you know, one last spot. It's always, I don't know if I've ever came here and not caught a fish in this spot. And so, if it doesn't produce, we could say maybe that they only bit before the eclipse. I know it didn't affect the crappie though, because I seen a guy catching crappie during the eclipse. He was live scoping him. He was catching them before, during, and after. Scope 36, nothing. What is that? What was that? He asked if I'd seen the video about the live scope 36. I haven't heard of it. Great for 34. No, I ain't seen it. Now they'll probably put the 34 on sale. <laughs>
love anchoring in that shallow water up there. I've seen a couple guys doing that. I just left it. <laughs> feeling. Look at that guy's boat over there, man. He's cruising right along. Nine horse. Yeah. Nine horse on steroids, it looks like. Yeah. That guy is flying. He can produce some pigs. I've heard that. I drug up to it. I was hoping that, that would work. River's down to 36 feet. And the lumber flying down right now. Yep. Yeah, it was a John boat. It looked like probably a 14 footer. And he looked like he was by himself, too. So he's probably got it rigged up where he can get the maximum speed out of it. know much about props on these 9.9s for a big boat like this? Because it came with a four blade seven pitch. I talked to several boat dealer or uh, you know boat shops, three of them actually. They all told me to go with either a nine or a ten and then one said a nine or a ten. So I went with a ten and I went down in RPM speed about the same. And I went to a three, they told me to go to a three blade. Just wondering if you uh, might know anything. Yeah. What was you saying about about what? About pinch point or uh, there's another see this island here and then there's another yeah. island back here. Right. And it seems like when we go in between it's like a pinch point. And uh, I don't know, it just seems like we always pick up fish through there. What do you do, go around and come back through it between them? Or... Yeah, I went to the three blade, but they told me to go up and pitch, and I lost RPM. I, I would think that I would have, you know, I told them what I was trying to achieve, just get a little bit more speed. Because I was hoping to at least double the speed I could get with my trolling motor. For like up here and they told me to go with that bigger pitch 
but uh, it didn't help with speed. And it just don't seem like to me, you know, wide open that that it's probably not good for that motor to only run at 36,000 RPM. I wouldn't think. I'm going, uh, I'm going a mile per hour. Okay, we can start throwing some stuff out. Some bait. Bait going. Boat's going around. Which way are we going, Joe? That's what it is. I don't have the. Yeah. I don't have the thing on. We're going in circles. Hey, your your line. Look your sock. Okay, that's what I thought. Here in a minute. <laughs> that's what I, I forgot thought. to put my navigation button on. Rookie. Yeah, I did try the trim a little bit. Didn't seem to affect it too much. Gave me just a little bit more, but then when I brung it up too much, it starts to try to blow up, blew out. Okay, see if we can get this thing going here. I guess headed in the right way. Yeah, it might be the five, you know, five and a half. Actually, I can get about five and a half with the four blade, with this three blade. Well, and I got, I got a full live well and a guy with me. See, usually I'm out by myself when I'm when I was testing it out before, so maybe I should do that first to before I get too discouraged. Okay.
RPM of the motor. Yeah, like 5,000. Or, uh, yeah, I think 5,000 to 55. That's what it tells you in the manual. Don't you love that sound? <laughs> Traffic is getting crazy now that the eclipse is over. Oh, great. Ride home might be fun. What is it? He said the traffic's getting crazy. Oh, yeah. You catch both of them. Right here. Look behind. Look behind. Behind it. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Try this again. Okay. Was crazy on my way home, Roger. Big truck tried to run me over. Uh. Guess everybody came up here to see the eclipse. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's why the traffic's so nice. too bad. Dragon. We're dragging. Again. Again. <laughs> yeah. One time I had my cousin up here. Danny. Yeah. And, uh, the wind was so bad that day. Mm -hmm. That's about all we can do is fish around these islands, you try to stay these. break from the. I'll give them back to her. Yeah. Mom. I'll go ahead. Yeah. That uh, and we we actually anchored up. And see this? There's the two islands I'm talking about. What's well, part yeah. of this one and then that one? Right. And uh, we caught several fish there. I, I got a video of that. Yeah, the wind kicked back up. Yeah. So we got to kick the speed up. That water is up a little bit in here because, yeah, usually yeah, it's a lot smaller right in there, right? Look at that uh, what is it? line. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Caught on that other eye. You still out there, Mom? Hey, hey still got 13 nothing. people here. Appreciate it. No. Well, they said that uh, the hospital was in our network in Courthouse. Or, yeah, where's Courthouse? That's crap. Have it, did it come in and work with her today? Okay. Hi. Or I don't know. Hi. Love you. Okay, even one of yours take off. 
<laughs> you can get the you get the next fish. Next when next one goes down, you grab it. Wait, the way it was looking. Unless it starts stripping jag. Yeah, unless it goes down <laughs> and starts stripping jag. Then we're going we're going to fight for it. <laughs> right? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> that got you choked up. <laughs> it's hard not to go after a drag stripping yeah. Rod and reel. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a natural cool. instinct kicks in. Yeah. That's for sure. That's how those couple done down the river. I mean, wham, started stripping drag down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I had one when me and Zach was out there a couple Fridays ago. I had one, man, and it was peeling the drag off. And when I pick, picked up on it, I had him. I mean, I could feel he was a heavy fish. And then all of a sudden, it's like, like I did that one. After yeah. I caught that, that one, it was close to 30. Like that one there. That very next fish I hooked. Now I said, oh, this might be bigger than that one. And then went lamb. Yep. Drag peelers. We're looking for some drag peelers. Yeah. There's a lot of people that think that blues and channels can't get after the bait. They make two swipes with that down and they can shoot at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these catfish are faster than people who do. Oh, yeah. I'm catching shut where the spillway. All they're doing is laying there. And when that comes in front of them just right, they just and suck it in. You know? Yep. How deep are we? Uh, we're down 12 five. feet now. 12.5. And we should. Or mark and stuff. Well, our, our boards are all doing right. You know? Yep. All we need now is a hit. Man, I thought that was a clicker. <laughs> <laughs> you heard what I thought? Yeah. <laughs> people channels will hit crappie crankbaits at three mile power per hour in warm water warmer water what is it he said channel cats will hit uh, crankbaits at three 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 mile an hour oh in, yeah I've caught, warmer water. I've caught channel on crankbait yeah some good channel. Why well, is that Rocky Pool? On crankbaits and stuff. I thought I had me a heck of a wall life about a 12 pound channel. <laughs> you know. 
Let's see. I'm going to go left a little. There's a lot of people out here dragging today. Yeah. Dragging them. A couple of them anchored up back here. Catfishing. Got a mixed bag out here. That's for crappie. People crappie fishing. People catfishing. The one guy was on the boat by himself, wasn't it? To catch a few crappie that was seen. No, they. Did, was there somebody else? Yeah, it was like his wife and kid. Oh, okay. Come on, we're here, kid, 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 kid. I mean, even uh, we may we have fished the Rocky Ford this Saturday, huh? Even the ones we got dragging behind us should be good, you know. I kind of like this idea too. What's that? Coming up through here, the way it looks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know, we caught over our bait right around this yeah, corner. Right around the corner. Yeah. I don't know if they're still there or not. Yeah. We're starting to pick up some stuff. Oh. This hurt something over there in the shallows. Probably, oh, yeah. Probably corn. I think something maybe after one of them geese scared them. It could have been. Been a big old flathead up in there and trying to eat him. <laughs> Grab a hold of your foot. <laughs> yeah. You headed back toward the big one up bridges. I am not. I'm still up in uh, the North Pool. believe that's in the North Pole, is it? Oh, man, we're going way too fast. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> we were doing point seven all that time. I didn't realize it. What do you mean? We were doing point seven. Oh, was we? Yeah. I didn't realize it. Didn't I realize kicked it up it earlier because yeah. the wind was fighting. Right. I was fighting the wind. And the wind ain't changed. That's, it, you know. it gets a little stronger, a little yeah. lighter. And it's like you got to adjust your speed. Most of all the fish we caught today, though, were around that point four point four five come on one guy <laughs> At one time I said that, 
about 10 seconds later, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Usually it is a little shallower when I'm coming through here. Let's see. Catfish Bob group will start the season at Lake Logan. Same greenfish phrase. Cool. See, there the wind really gusted up. Mark a lot of bait again, 13 feet. Oh, you know what? I did pour, pull the cord out too. Yeah, I didn't even pour, took my cord. That's my phone cord there. I had another cord plugged into there that was running the camera. I bet you that's what it caught. No, it was tucked up in there. Oh, was it? Yeah. Hmm. little worried about see i know there's a bush right out here that usually sticks out what is it there's usually a bush somewhere right in here yeah. it must be underwater oh yeah so hopefully i don't hit it with a, yeah one of my rigs we're nine foot now yep we went from what, 16? It was deep. 16, to now nine. we're nine feet. Eight. Trying to work its way to eight feet. Huh. 
bet that lady, I think that lady was mushroom hunting on that little island. Oh, yeah? Yep. She's probably found them there before. Probably. Seven foot. Now, have you done this down the river too? Dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when your current gets down low. Right. Drag upstream. Um, oh, there's a big fish. Look. Right there on the bottom. Uh huh. Yeah. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Honkers out in full force. <laughs> oh, Hey, we're marking some good stuff. I would caught uh, about seven earlier today, but nothing after the eclipse. Or no, it was eight. We caught eight. Yeah, eight. Dag blasted geese. <laughs> yeah, they, uh -huh. they could hear the geese. They said oh, dag yeah. blasted geese. <laughs> I guess what Catfish Dave always says. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Dag blasted. I think the there was one of them that had a big fish after it or something. We heard a big splash, and then all of a sudden the geese start going crazy. I didn't go for a big shot right. Oh, yeah. Goof. If catfish out, eat chicken, it only makes sense that duck and geese are on the menu as well. That's right. <laughs> hey, Pontoon Jody. happen like right when you go see that tree over there and that tree over there yeah it's but it's when it's shallower it's smaller you know what i mean there's yeah. other brush smaller and taking up and uh, like a channel too here. yeah and one time you know, we sat right here the wind was blowing this way and we anchored up we must caught about six right there oh yeah yeah it was like causing a current right through there you know what i mean yeah yeah But this was my uh, this was my money spot. I've caught them all along that bank where we drove down. Yeah, um, I've done it both ways. I went through this way. Used to. That's where I'd start. I mean, we'd get our bait. Usually right out there in front of the rain. Right. And we just make a big swoop around here and then we'd head out to the main channel. Go up toward the north end and back down. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you know I was limited then because all I had was my troll motor. So a lot of times I had to try to go with the wind as much as possible. Yeah. You know, and I had to utilize my battery time because I had those uh, lead acids too. You know, I didn't have as much battery life. Right. So I had to watch how I did it. I think it was the second time I was up here. The winds got real high and my batteries died out on me and I dropped that big motor. They were waiting on me when I come in. <laughs> and they told me, it, they gave me a warning, but they said it wouldn't happen again. Right. They took all my information, put it in the system. You got by this time. Yeah. Well, I guarantee that one guy was using his big motor. I don't know. Like uh, Tommy was saying on here, you know, like a 14, like 14 by 36. Yeah. John boat with one guy. I mean, yeah, you can. They go pretty good, really. Yeah. Well, that's like a, a what was it? That was 15 more seven with that 16 foot. But he's pretty good. Wow, it's like a whole parade of cars coming in the ramp area. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. Right in a row. They're all black sedans. <laughs> There's a truck and three black sedans, it looked like. They're coming after that briefcase of money we found. Yeah. <laughs> and 
no kidding. Oh, dude. Now we're back in 12 foot. Usually, uh, it seems like we can always pick up a channel, too, around these. Yeah. Um, <coughs> around these islands. I can see that, too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh, here we go. Finally, it's on in my money spot. Got him. Oh, no. He got off. Dang, dang, oh, got him. You got him? I got him. Oh, he's running, he's running at <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, he's running, running at him. him. That might be one of them channels. He'll do that. No, this hey, it feels, decent. feels like a good fish. It feels decent. I mean, I don't know, but yeah. it's been so long since I've caught one. <laughs> He's running. He's twirling a little bit. Yeah. I was going to say I had real up to him. I seen my line going out. I knew he was still on there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how big he is. That's it. Uh, what's that? Yeah. That there, man. Yeah, that there. Just that. Uh, you yeah, lift one rod up. Ooh. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh. Here, I'll net him. I'll net him off the back. He's a pretty good one. Tell me when you pull. What? Not too bad. Not Good too bad. Fat one. He's fat. Yeah. What this here? Yeah. Here. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, he's so good. I told you. See it? You had a long one out there. So yeah. It took a lot for it. He's got mud on him too. That's number nine for today. Oh. Probably a. Uh, eh, I'd say he's pushing that twelve, ain't he? Yeah. Well, we'll find out. Uh, that can't not be right. Wait a minute. You didn't zero. Oh, now, it's on kilogram. Oh. <laughs> I was like, there ain't no slide. way. There ain't no way you wait for something. There. There you go. Ah. Uh, Come on, 10. No. Nine. He's almost 10. Yeah. Guess we, he looks fat. <laughs> looks like he weighs more than 10. Looks about like that 12 pounder I caught earlier. Hang on, babe. I just caught one. Call me right back. Show everybody on the. Love you, bye. On the screen. Yeah, he got 10 pounder. He got fat belly. <laughs> there you go. All right. Here, let me put this back over there. Okay. Now. Yeah. I'm switching places. Yeah. Go ahead. Trying to be at your place. Yeah. Uh, uh, Right. Then turn him loose. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, that works. Yep. Number nine. Phone's in your seat. Uh -huh. Your phone's in your seat. Okay. 
Number nine. We still got ways to go, though. That was my money spot. It seems like I always at least pick up one fish right there. But I have, there's been times we've had multiples hit right there. And I'm sure there's been times I didn't catch anything. But. Money, money, money. Got to take another. Uh, I think that was 175 yards out. Or feet out. Antibiotic. Oh. All right. How far you got that one gear sound? Uh, I think it's 210. Okay. And I dropped mine around 175. What was my bait got to him four years ago? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm at 150 now. Man, everybody's quiet in chat. Snatch that fish. That's right. I got him. We got that rascal. I look up. I'm like, really? A bite? <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought, oh, snag it, but I've seen the tip going like that. Yeah. Well, five and four. Yep. You still got time to catch up. Yeah. To tie up. I was wild on that the way it looked like a big storm was moving in. Yeah, the eclipse. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Wind's trying to get crazy on us again. Yeah, I felt blown. It's uh huh. Kind of spun us a little bit there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think the bait's in here like it was this morning. No. I'll tell you what, he was fat, though. He was fat. Yeah, he was probably in here eating on it all morning and then uh -huh. over there laid up. And then, then he's like, oh, oh, here it comes one right by me. One right by me. I'll go get it. I'll just eat it. <laughs> oh, that that time I had a bone in it. <laughs> oh. Hook.
he was a swimmer. Yeah. He was out running my, the reel. <laughs> okay, we came up to like, or down, came up in about eight foot. And now we're going back down. Thirteen foot. There could be one laying there on that drop off. Or right on that shell. Uh-huh. Our lines ain't got to it. Tell you it's already it's five o'clock. I think it's, it's a good half hour better to load up. Then we got an hour and a half drive. So what happens? I'm good with you beating me today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you beat me last time. Yeah. Yeah, I've got you three to zero right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you let me catch one of those. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, you caught. No, you're right. You did have three to zero. Yeah. You caught that one. Yeah. Then you caught the other two, and then you let me yeah. catch that one. Yeah. Man. Couple Fridays ago, when me and Zach was fishing, that was we had that we had like two doubles and that one triple. I mean, oh, yeah. it was just chaotic. And then to catch a you know a fifty and a forty three, I think it was. Come on now, break loose on a double. That was awesome. Oh yeah. I should have been with you that day. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't even know I was going that day yeah. until till that till the night before. before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you yeah, know, that's how it happens a lot. Well, we didn't we my work didn't come in uh, on Thursday like it was supposed to. Wow. And they wasn't looking for it to to come, you know, it was going to be the first of the week before it came in. So I ended up getting Friday off. And, uh, Zach was saying he was going fishing. And I was like, you need a partner? <laughs> he's hey, like, buddy. he's like, sure. Do you change your hook? To a different one when fishing for flatheads. Uh, I do not, Jody. Um, but you know, sometimes I do wonder about it. I know some guys do. I've seen uh, a lot of guys do great success with circles, though. Like oh. Uh, can't think of his name right now. Roger probably might. Uh, Granada, Joe Granada, I think his name is. Uh, is it Hammer Down Catfishing? Uh, he, he had to have a heart transplant a while back, so he ain't been putting no videos out. But man, when he was putting videos out, he was catching flatheads all the time. And I'm pretty sure in the river, you know, he was catching them in the river, and that's all he used was circle hooks. If, if I remember right. But then, you know, you got guys that swear by J-hooks or kale hooks. I don't, I don't think you can go wrong. So. Now we're starting to mark bait. Uh -huh. Now we're marking bait. Yeah. Just, you know, with the circles, it's a lot less likely to get them gut hooked. I do know that. 
it gets what? to get them gut hooked. Yeah. Or throw a hook, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're um, right. Definitely can happen. But now, they make them ones. Very rare. Circle. They're not that. They're like octopusy. And they're not, they're a circle hook, but they're not as much of it. Yeah. I use them a lot down spill. Yeah. Now, the hooks I use, the Diachis, Jody, they call it a double action. Um. You know, they say that you can set the hook, and I have seen it happen. I've seen Zach catch channel cat that way, like the ones that are just pecking, peck, pecking, and all of a sudden he'll set the hook and got him. <laughs> but I don't change. I I just stick with that Diachi hook. It's been really good to, to me and Zach and Roger. And Chris Souders, he swears by him. He's one... You know, watching him is what turned me on to him. I tried different ones before. And uh, I was actually getting it. It was the uh, catfish. Let's see. You can get them at Walmart. They're uh, team catfish. Yeah, double same, action. Man. That's what they call it. Yeah. Team catfish double action. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same hook. Yeah. They make. You know, Diachi makes that. It's the Diachi D85, I believe it is. I've seen them. And I started, I started getting them from Walmart. Them ones that come like this, and they got a big Y, and then they go like that. They have so many. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. That that kale. That, that sounds like a kale hook to me with them big help kale yeah. hooks. A lot of guys was using those for catfish. Yeah. They're not supposed to uh, go hook them as bad, right. I don't think. As, you know, like a regular J. Yeah. Plus, they got that big wide for that big yeah. tooth pad, you know. Yeah. Big wide gap. But I we use the, uh, the 7 aught and the, or no, maybe it's the 8 and 10, I think. Man, there is so much bait on this side. Oh, yeah. I can't believe there's no catfish over there. Right. We're back in 18 foot of water here. Hmm. We've definitely done better in that. What was that back here? Well, that did get shallow back there, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, that coming might through be there. Still about nine. Right there on the edge of it, I bet you. Yeah. Nine, ten feet. Right? Yeah. Probably about yeah. nine, ten feet. But most of our fish have. It seemed like around 12 feet. 10 to 12, yeah. Yeah, 10 to 12 feet today. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there. Yeah, there is. It's it gets busy here. You won't believe it. Um, kayakers, and they rent kayaks right there. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah. People, it gets crazy. I bet you that's what them guys, that man, one was doing was mushroom hunting. That's the only bad thing about up here is uh, it does get a lot. You know, you get a lot of pleasures. The, the kayak just they're just out kayaking. You know, yeah, they're not fishing. Um, Just out, sailboats yeah. down on the other end, um, pontooners, you know, just pleasure boating. Yep. Um, and it gets a lot of fish activity. Yeah. But uh, the colder seems to scare them off a little. Yeah. For sure. I can barely get the Diachi hooks out. Yeah, they are tough to get out, but, you know. You want them to hold. I don't know if you've ever noticed, Jody. If you could, uh, we'll take the palm over hand. You got, you know, you got to be careful. But if you hit the back of that hook, you smack at it just right, and it like pops them, pops them right out of there. Yeah, they, they definitely once they go through, they they lock in.
what what hook is it that you're using, Jody? If you're not using. Now we're back at 20 feet. 20 feet. There's all kinds of bait on your side. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's up high, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Could be those crappie. I think I'm gonna... You had a good day? Yeah. 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 Well, I think we're gonna call it, folks. I really appreciate everybody hanging in here with me. Let's see. 10, 11, 12. Seven hours. Wow. I really appreciate it. Um, so we ended up with nine fish. We had a couple tens, 12, and the biggest was 21 and a half. Um, we're satisfied with that. A lot of downtime, but definitely good. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we did have some downtime there after we started off pretty hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, on our first pass, you know, we had caught like five just right there before we even made a turn. And uh, so that's at the beginning. Um, well, we already had three in the boat there at the beginning. I actually started to stream a little early. And uh, I think that's when we caught the 21. And then... Uh, then it just kind of died out for us there for a good while. Yeah. When you caught that 12 was the last one you caught, so I caught that. Yep, really and nice. then I caught the 12 up there, and then he caught yeah. that one there. So it's been tough. I mean, every one of those fish, all nine of those fish had mud on them. And so I think they're, you know, just they've been hunkered down, and those ones there just starting to come off, getting active. Um, tomorrow could probably be a really productive day here. Uh, I like, you know, there you go. Dale likes kale hooks. Got flathead. Because he likes using the live bait. But all right, everybody. I appreciate you. Uh, come back for the next time on Clearview Outdoors. Go check out Floyd at Rolling Creek Productions. Rolling Creek Productions on Facebook. He's got some good hunting and uh, he does some turkey and uh, or a lot, a lot of turkey and deer hunting on there with his granddaughters. He's got how many granddaughters you got? Eight. Eight granddaughters. Uh, and one grandson. <laughs> and one grandson. <laughs> He's always taking them out turkey hunting, so deer hunting. So we appreciate you. Later. In stream.